What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it, man. We got podcasts and chill up on deck, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it, man. I'm excited to get in this episode because this was highly requested, y'all. This is the second highly requested one. If you ain't checked out episode 500 with Mama Mac, what are you doing? Make sure you go check it out. Simple as that because it was nothing but just hilarious. It was dope. It was just, hey, from start to finish, I enjoyed it. So I'm excited to get in this one. This was highly requested. Episode 416, 416, 416. Simple as that. Tell ass Mo, man. Yeah, tall ass Mo. That's his name. Okay, so he a stand up comic, man. I'm excited to get in this, man. A lot of you guys commented down. Simple as that. Thank you for the assist. I want to tell um, what's your name? Um, Queen M B A L I N G. Um, thank you. I just because when I seen your comment, I'm like, I gotta get on it because you always be showing love and support. So I appreciate everybody love and support. So I'm about to shut up, y'all. I'm ready to get in this. I'm ready to have some fun. Simple as that. Let's go. Let's get it, man. South African number one podcast, all the way from the motherland to America. Let's go. Let's get it. Podcast and Jill. What up, boy? Mac G and so. It's been a long time coming, but it's finally here, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome our friend of the show, Thomas. What a time to be alive. Uh, he's controversial. We are saints. Hey, bro. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Controversial. He's untouchable. <laughs> like, fondling and touching us all over. Oh, yeah. man. What's up, guys? What no, up, bro? You mm. you strike me as one of those celebs that would never come on the show because it's too controversial. Oh, I wouldn't come. Yo, yo, you strike, like, because... I think maybe you're like a corporate darling yeah. for all the corporate gigs. You're like a pop pop for obviously everything else. You know? That's a fan. Yeah. Then they call us. Better call Saul. Hey, oh God, because Mac don't give a... Simple as that. Better call Saul. <laughs> What's happening, bro? You good? I'm good. Hey, I'm good. Bro, Thank you guys for good, having man. me, man. Yeah, Thank yeah, you man. for having me, big time, bro. Yeah. I really appreciate it, man. It's like you know it. Um, I was very hesitant to come onto the show. Um, mm. I was very hesitant. Yo, I bring a phone this bad. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't know. I, 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 do you know? I've I've been I've been underground for three and a half years, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. True. You know, and a lot has changed. A yeah. lot has changed, yeah. and I, you know, I was underground with like, you know, with a, with a, with a lot of shit to say. You know, mm. I then I just didn't know when was the right time, and uh, I was just waiting for the right time and the right placing for me to come here. Hey, I ain't mean to interrupt, but hey, pivot. When he say underground, y'all mean like underground rappers, like how the underground was. He's an underground comment like that, man. So simple as that. So we got a lot of work to do because I gotta dig in on tall ass mo. But let's go and let's get it. Uh, and and actually speak out, you know what I'm saying, and um, and actually be in a platform whereby I can just be myself. That's it. That's not right. right. home. You can Why? cry. You can cry here. Oh, uh, fuck out of here. Dr. Yeah. Malinga did it. He's <laughs> flourishing now. Like, Yo, yeah, what a chance. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Dr. Malinga. Yo, you know pops, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, no. Don't go lie. He's done. What the fuck is pops talking about? Right? <laughs> So everybody kept on blasting me, bro. Like you don't know my inbox, my dear Mac. Your 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 your, your chillers are they don't have chill, bro. Wow. He said you every day. He said your chillers don't have chill, man. Y'all got energy. I love it, man. I appreciate all of y'all. Let's go. Let's get it. Yeah, Mac. Your 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 your, your chillers are they don't have chill, bro. Wow. Like, every day. When are you going to match you? When I put something. When are you going to match you? Wow. I'm like, you know what? I'm like, okay, let me just do this shit. And my wife was like, Mom is uzulini uyekona. I even got some calls from other people in the industry. Like, yeah. Don't ever do that Matt G thing, whatever. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, uh, their friends are on Matt G. I'm like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, man. Oh, and by the way, we're coming yeah. at you from Mashavela Studios. If you want to use these studios, uh, email podcast at mashavela.co.za. No, man, this thing, are you always going to be in every show now? Yeah, she can walk out now. Hey. These guys have got their yeah, landlord now. Sitting in the show. Bro. Yeah. They better say Mashavela yeah. more than 10 times today. Yeah, the okay. first. The first two times it was cute. Now it's kind of like, hey, man. And you didn't say it for the entire year when you were here. Like, you know, we're done. It didn't advance the rent. Anyway, speaking about shows, dog, what happened to your reality show? I used to love that, man. Oh, shit. Mo and Mome. Yeah. So, we shot the third season of Mo and Mome. Um, there were three brands, right? How many how many brands? It was Mo Love, and then we shot uh, two seasons or three seasons of Mo Love, but we did that with Bob 
production. So okay. Thomas. Say I love it, man, because y'all got like people don't know like y'all got everything we have: reality TV shows, rappers, comedians. Like y'all got more. It really comes from the motherland. People just don't know that, man. It's just crazy though. But let's go. Let's get it. We shot uh, two seasons or three seasons of Mo Love, and we did that with Pop Productions. So okay. Thomas Gourmet, their school, ah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then after a couple of seasons with them, we took a break from the reality game, and then we came back again um, with Burnt Onion Productions, and we did Mo and Mome, and we did two seasons of that show. We did one season. Yeah, we did one season of that show, and then when we were meant to come back, that's when the big bomb dropped. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, so you had another yeah, season yeah. lined up? Yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, the reality show is like, a, um, how can I say? It's a, it's a show that can go on for as long as you're alive. Oh, you know? yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting. So, um, yeah, yeah, as I said, the, 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 a couple of bombs dropped and then we ended up uh, stopping doing production. And, yeah, we're looking forward to actually coming back again. You never know. You never know. 2023 is a brilliant year. How does that uh, game work, the reality show? Like, how do you guys get paid? So, literally... The, um, there's two options either you license your show you know, when you license it that means that you shoot it yourself you pay for all the expenses and then you sell the product to the channel and that's if they'll accept it mm. um, and then if you get the show commissioned that means that the channel comes out with the money gives you the money to shoot the show mm. so basically they're the ones that have got a lot of control in terms of the the content you're yeah. putting out there, what you can do, what can't do, what you can say, and whatnot. Mm. And I'm going to pivot right there, man. This is actually, I love, this is why I really fuck with the podcast. Not only just everything, but we always get some education on, on the low low, and you got to be having your ears open to peep it. You know what I'm saying? So for anybody that want to start a production company, you know what I'm saying? Here go the game, and he just gave it to us for free. And that's like an episode 500. Mama Matt gave us the game on trade market, so just pay attention. So I really fuck with this, man. Let's go, let's get it. I just wanted to say that, though. It's, you shoot it yourself, you pay for all the expenses, and then you sell the product to the channel, and that's if they'll accept it. Mm. Um, and then if you get the show commissioned, that means that the channel comes out with the money, gives you the money to shoot the show. Mm. So basically, they're the ones that have got... A lot of control in terms of the the content you're yeah. putting out there, what you can do, what you can't do, yeah. what you can say, and whatnot. Mm. So basically, that's the vibe of the show. But with our reality show, we're just real the whole time, hundred mm. percent real, unscripted whatsoever. So which one did you do, licensing or? We did. We commissioned the show. Oh, we commissioned the show. Okay. And April, we went three meter. Yeah, to so shoot a show. My that's brother. much it cost. Yeah, damn. damn. So that's the, like a minimal cost to shoot any normal production lately. Yeah, yeah. Nothing more. Nothing less than three bar. If you're doing like. But a, a, a one bar show, what, what are you on? Much love. <laughs> <laughs> What's my share? What the fuck, Peggy? Let me fool. What the fuck was to be on the channel? <laughs> <laughs> so so you from prime time TV, nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey. Yeah. So do, do you make that return investment back? So you make the three mil back? No, you don't. For real? No, what do you don't. mean? So the production gets a cut, you use the talent, also get a, t a cut. But my wife and I were executive producers of all of our shows. Mm. So literally, we are the production company that does the work, you know what I'm saying? So we get paid from production. I get paid also for being an executive director, so does my wife. And then we get paid as being talent. Mm. So that's what it is. So it's like a couple of paychecks in one show. But why do it, man? Because I've never want to expose my family to such uh, limelight, you know, spotlight, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I think that the woman I fell in love with came from the world of reality. And mm, she was I doing, remember with the fashion. Yeah, she did the first re uh, reality show in South Africa. And I think that people need to give her her flowers. Which one? Know? Cream Cartel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was, it was uh, Chalk. What's his name now? Stilo the rapper. Oh, Stilo yeah, Makolita. Yeah. He was Chalk then, remember? Yeah, they were like yeah, yeah. fashion Chalk, designers. Yeah, 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 they were fashion oh, designers. Yeah. Yes, I remember Cream Cartel. And a uh, guy as well. So that, that, that was South oh, Africa's man. first... Wow taste of what wow. a social reality show actually looks Shut like. Up, yeah. Shut up! Shut up! By the so, way, Mommy, how did you lose weight, man? Damn! Hey, Mommy, <laughs> keep us. <laughs> I, I remember one week she was like this, the next week she was like this. Yeah, right? It was so quick. She kept it off. Yeah. yeah. She's got a wonderful product. Uh, what do you say, baby? Mommy Wellness, yeah. Oh, so you got an actual thing? Yeah, she's got a product of uh, a range of Moringa products that actually help you to lose weight and keep it off. Isn't without that the effort thing? of exercise, without the effort of... What? Moringa. Moringa is what? This is like Mpesu. What the fuck is Mpesu? <laughs> Isn't Mpesu like a fucking transaction? It's what you put it on your food, food fam. Or whatever. It's what you put it on your food. Yeah, you put it in your food. You put it everywhere. Moringa turns anything you eat into a superfood. 
So um, if you're eating a peanut butter and sandwich and you sprinkle some moringa on that, that's the most nutritious sandwich you ever eat. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. Man. So and she's got a tonic as well. It's called the the super tonic. You know, it helps people lose weight, keep gives you energy, and you don't have to work out with Mommy's products. You lose weight whether whatever the hell you're eating. Yeah. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you eat it, yeah. sounds like a scam, bro. Like, oh, it's like a fat scam. burner. I mean, there's also this, 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 this product has been around for a long time. Fat trappers, you know, you, you consume fat, but then the product traps the fat and then you shit it out, bro. Wow. That's interesting. Man. Fat trappers. Yes. So, where do you get this moringa thing? Moringa is naturally grown at our farm in Walkerville in Johannesburg. And then we, um, Mome basically has, a, 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 how can I say, um, a team of people who then convert the moringa into multiple products like cereal, sorghum, power shakes, teas, soups. Yeah. This thing is powerful, eh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. No, we must That's fuck. where we add, like, so the computer will have a life. So. Hey, cheers. Have a long time. nutritional products. Yeah. So and then your son, is. is your son still rapping? Yes, my son is still rapping, man. He's he's trying to find himself right now, like, really messing around with different sounds and, and, like, and exploring, um, going to different studios. He's, you know, um, working with the Decepticons right now, who also did my singles. Um, that is so great. Sugar and Bang. They did the Lezzes music as well, aka his music. So I trust them. I trust TK in their hands so mm. that's what he's doing now just really exploring he's actually on a gap year this year mm. he matriculated last year so yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, what's man. his rap name he changes it so many fucking times <laughs> bro. I, I, I don't even know the nigga on social media anymore so he, know the nigga on social media. he was Keith RSA he was what <laughs> what is he now Vito Pitoria that so sounds like a piano. Yeah, yeah so he's trying, like to, he's trying to find himself. Yeah. He's really trying to find himself. And I'm like, you know what? My boy, you have all the time in the world. Go ahead, do it, explore, understand mm -hmm. yourself. For the fact that you had the opportunity to start rapping at the age of what? Six, seven? Mm -hmm. I mean, on Mo Love, TK was six years old and he was already rapping, getting opportunities. Wow. He's a voiceover artist as well. He's done a lot of international ads, doing voices wow. and stuff. So a that voiceover artist. That's hard. I ain't really, I got to look into that. That's up my alley, y'all. Let's go. Let's go and let's get it, man. Um, I mean, on Mo Love, TK was six years old and he was already rapping, getting opportunities. Wow. He's a voiceover artist as well. He's done a lot of international ads, doing voices and stuff. So that's that's my boy right there. That's TK. And the crazy part is this, that he's a fucking A student. Mm. Wow, brilliant. TK like, is an A student. Yeah. He's an A student. That, like, like, literally, I've never had... I don't mean to keep pausing, but y'all hear that from my young ones, man? Them grades matters, man. For real. Let's go and let's get it. Mm. Wow, brilliant. TK is an A student. Yeah. He's an A student. That, like, like, literally, I've never had a situation whereby I had to go to school and be concerned about TK's results. Or... Well, that's easy, though, because it isn't easy. Isn't he homeschooled? He was partially. <laughs> it was oh. partially homeschooled, partially, you know, going to school. You go to school just for the fact of socializing. and Especially, especially when this shit happened, you know what I'm saying? We really took him out of that school program because, you know, it, I mean... Um, you went to a very small school, so everybody knows who I am. Everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the parents, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah, knows yeah. who I am. Everybody knows my vibe and whatever. So I just really felt like I need to protect him as well and protect my family. Mm. So that's why we kind of spaced out from Johannesburg and we moved and we stay at a place where people go for holiday mm. in Giving School. Mm. Uh, so that's where we're at. We stay in the farmlands there now. Well, yeah. Have you ever, like, how do you tell him is like, if versus whack and he's your I son? I tell him straight. He knows. He knows. If, if it doesn't trash, impress me, son. If it doesn't impress me, it doesn't impress me, bro. Like, like he knows very well, straight up, yeah. straight up. I tell him there's no hiding. Who do, do you want to? See? You think that, yo, all my friends are comedians, bro. Yeah. You think I'm gonna let my son go out there and fuck his shit up? So every time I'm in a comedy club, niggas are like, yo, don't I can't see him. What? what? <laughs> Nigga, trust me, I make him invisible. I'm like, yo. Hey, go cap, man. We are in 15 minutes into this reaction. I want to watch this nigga comedy, man, because I'm fucking with tall eyes, man. I just like his personality, man. Simple as that, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it. He said, yo, niggas gonna think I'm gonna let my son put some bullshit out and all my friends are comments and niggas be in the club commenting, man. Clowning me. Let's no. Nah, hell no. Nah. Yo, all my friends are comedians, bro. <laughs> yeah. You think I'm gonna let my son go out there and fuck his shit up? So every time I'm in the comedy club, niggas are like, yo, don't ever get that nigga to What? What? <laughs> nigga, trust me, I make him invisible. I'm like, yo, when you go out there, don't let anybody diss you about your shit, dog. Yeah. Yeah. I hold your stuff together, bro. So yeah. when you drop dropping quality, look. When I thought music it was fun, I was just bored of doing stand-up comedy at one point in time. Just like, just I needed an escape. So hey, I, man, you drop something, Georgia Vakian, eh? 
Yeah, I did something with Georgia. No, no, I worked with Georgia Vakian when we were tru- when we were touring with Trevor Noah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. So okay. that's why I worked with George, and yeah. we've done a couple of shows together. Um, but yeah, the vibe is that um, um, uh, the first really successful song I did was with Reason, Bumpy yeah. Cheeser. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, bro, Come yes. On, yes. Come Look, on, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. 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 song is never going to go and get the plaque for that thing, man. I think it definitely it's sitting on gold or somewhere, something like that, more than gold. That thing, man. Go and get the money. And go and get the black man. Yeah. Stop wasting time. Yeah. Um, then afterwards, uh, and, and and he really gave me a chance to do music at a point where by nobody wanted to do music. Like nobody wanted to do comedy on their music, mm. you know. And then that became a success. We did the remix, bumped the cheese up remix with uh, uh, AKA crazy. OK Malum Cool Ginger Cat, Trill. Ginger Trill. And it was a big, it was a big thing, bro. Then I started doing my own music, bumped the cheese up. That is so great. Send my samba, black man party there. Yo, yeah, yeah man. And you're yeah. flying, bro. Yeah, so, yo, I still get that Samuro SMS once in a while, you know, when oh, people remember me. Yeah. yeah, so that's how, that's, that's what it is, man. It was just really to have fun and just do something different. When did you start in the industry? At what age? I think I started at the age of, what, 19, 20? Shit, man. Yeah, 19. So you started at 20 years old, right? Mm. And your star is rising, it just keeps rising year after year. You're doing comedy shows with Trevor Noah, like you're saying. You're doing music. We're signed with the same comedy agency. Myself, Trevor Noah, Eugene Koza, Kakiso Edicha, and Lois Okola were called the big five of stand-up comedy. And, and Robbie Collins as well. Mm. Um, uh, it was uh, managed by a guy called Sakunda Bima. Mm. It was Podium Comedy Merchants. Oh, I remember the black website and you were wearing yes. black suits. All of us I remember very suits. well, yeah. And and it was a dope, it was a very dope experience. That was my, my, my first high-level move into the world of stand-up comedy. Yeah. Yeah. So that you got that going for you, you're doing TV shows, like, you're, you're, yeah. like, you're a big deal at this time. Brand. You're yeah, a big brand, brand bro. At that crap. time, really, man, everybody was just interested in this guy, Toles Mo. I mm. mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's extremely funny, he's, like, doing his thing, he's young, he's different, he's vibrant, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's the, the brand really grew from strength to strength. And on top of that, I think going on the stage is the most important thing. I just kept on proving myself every single time, every single time. So, yeah, that's what it is. So when the bomb drops, what happens? Because that's something you've never, like, experienced ever. Because, like I said, your star's been rising all this time, and finally now, like, it's like... Hmm. The bomb drops in the morning, bro. Okay? I get waking up by Mommy. Mommy's like, hey, Baba, Vua. Uh. I'm like, now what's going on? And she's like, what is this? I, I read the tweet. Hold on. Oh, um, my bad, my bad. I missed it. I missed it. I was looking down. What this nigga do? Now, like, it's like. <laughs> hmm. Says, Go the on. bomb drops in the morning, bro. Okay? I get waking up by mommy. Mommy's like, hey, Baba, Vua. Uh. I'm like, now what's going on? And she's like, what is this? I, I read the tweet. Uh. Um, I, if I'm not mistaken, you, uh, you, 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 you correct me if I'm wrong. It's like, the tweet was like, um, I've had experiences, um, a personal experience with rape. And these are the people or whatever that have done this to me. Mm. Pepsi. DJ Pepsi yeah, yeah, yeah. and friends. She said she was gang raped by DJ Pepsi and her friends Shoo, and his friends. Bro. Second guy, Prosper. Hmm. Okay, Prosper's dead, bro. Hmm. He passed on, right? He can't speak for himself. Prosper, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Prosper. Can't speak for himself, right? Is Pepsi? Where's Pepsi? I don't know. Is Pepsi? Oh man, he's Pepsi, building Pepsi. houses. Yeah. He's construction. Exactly. Mm. He's like a tinderpreneur vibe. It's kind of vibe, yeah. right? Mm. <clears throat> then myself on the tweet. And then she said that she's speaking from experience. So she literally posted out there that I had raped her and so had these other guys as well. Who's this lady, by the way? I forgot her name. Rato Rato Muloy. Muloy. Rato Rato Muloy. Muloy. Yeah, yeah. Rato yes. Muloy. The mother. There's two Rato Muloy's in South Africa. A lot of people confuse them between the two. If you look at the dark, ugly one with no eyebrows, <laughs> that one. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Hey! No. She is hey, dark. Look, look. You know? She's like, I don't like that. It's right there. I can see it. Look at it. Look at look at the ill. You like talking about this shit, man? Cause that's that's crazy right there. Oh. Ooh. Hey, no. she is dark. You know, <laughs> everything else is subjective. <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> bold, <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> Put bold, but short hair. If you're sitting here, you wanna say maybe I'm sitting next to my shadow. She's dark like that. 
<laughs> hey, you know they're coming for you for that one, right? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm here for her. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 fuck you, She is stuck. No, no, she's stuck. She's stuck. How correct must I be? And like I said, everything else is subjective, but that is a fact. She's stuck. Oh, let's get it. One to How many of you want to solve? One to solve. It's a solite tense. Solite power. Night. She's a night rider. Taxi city. In the still of the night. You understand? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah so she drops that tweet, yeah? She drops the tweet, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And this is in the, the, the middle of the, the list, ne? When there was a red oh, list. Oh, me too. There was the me too list before that. Oh, it was, it was a South African me too era. era. Yeah, so that's With all the, like, some DJs, some personalities. A lot of people. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people are on it. This is after. Oh, when this that wave. No. Okay. She wanted her own yeah, yeah. special wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I don't like Sanyana. It's crazy. Uh, you know, just a few days before August, mm. before the, the deadly month of August. Mm, mm. Yeah, and then that's when she decided to. So what is it, Mommy? Bro, I'm a bad mommy. What the fuck? Mm. I'm like, no. Lerato. Mm. I'm like, Lerato Muloy. Mm. I go to her profile, look at the pro- I'm like, it's her, Mos. Mm, mm. I'm like, Monia no was sick, Mos. Is she fucking crazy? Mm, mm, mm. When was this now? Mm. What, why? How? And my wife is like, but baby, I remember you telling me that, no, this girl once told you guys that she got raped. I'm like, yes. Yeah. Lerato Muloy at the set of Master Chef. This is, she said I raped her on Master Chef, Rishuta Master Chef, an international production. I'm getting paid like I'm motherfucker on this show. Mm. You so understand me, dog? Like I'm getting paid for every day that I'm there. I'm getting paid for yo, my dog, for the shows I could have done. It, mm. it was like a really nice setup, mm. bro. Everybody who was there got paid according to their worth. Hey, so you're not trying to fuck that up. I'm not trying to fuck this up, mm. nigga. You understand? This is, and this is not Nancy Magic shit. Mm. This is Mnick, my nigga. Mm. This is A Channel. Mm. You understand, bro? Yeah. So, w- w- where am I at at that point in time in my career? I'm an A lister, bro. Mm, 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 mm. You, you feel me? 100%. And now, on the show, we live together. Mm. At a, we live together. We're at Paul. Ne? Paul. Paul is in Cape Town. Yeah, yeah. P A A R L. Yeah, Paul. Correct. Yes. I got a lip. Sorry, man. You must always. Correct me. Yeah, yeah. Pa, <coughs> ne? Yeah, so now that's cool. Man. Fine, so they shouldn't the show at some wine estate situation there. Mm. And Tina was staying at another wine estate, estate, I don't know what to call it, community living situation. Primarily states that by the different estates, Pella. Yes. You really try to go to the estate? No. Ella is in the estate. Ella is in the estate. There's furniture there. <laughs> I'm not air cook. I'm not one of the Open the fridge any time of the month, there's food type of estate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the estate that we were at, bro. Very high class situation. So we're all living together in this mansion, right? It's a huge crib. Everybody's got sufficient rooms. It's myself, it's Patricia Lewis, it's Chris Forrest, Lunga, Chabalala, uh, Patricia de, 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 what's Patricia de Lewis. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know Patricia, the Africans, Macy Macy. What, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. It's Chico from Isi Dingo. Mm. Uh, I think his name is Bridget Terrence. Mm. Um, Alex J. He's a big Alex. Ring. I ain't gonna cap. Yo. I ain't know y'all had y'all on Master Chef, man. This is dope, man. So y'all saw me in the comments, bro. We got the same reality TV shows y'all got. I already know, but I just had to say that. Let's go and let's get it. Now everybody knows. Yes, Yay. my bro, Yay. man. Yeah. Alex, your shout out. Homie. There's no weed with him, guys. Uh, hell of a lot, bro. Yeah. I even got yeah. busted for smoking weed on the show, bro. Long story, but anyway. Yeah. Um, he's like a white Snoop Dogg. I know, that guy is he's super cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So these are the people that are in the crib, bro. Now, we have security, right? Like, not just any type of security, like proper security, bro. Like, you know, they escort us from place to place. They make sure that, you know, we're safe, we're protected, all that shit, you know? Mm-hmm. You tell him, bro. We're talent, bro. Mm. You understand. You know the vibe, mm. right? And then the one time, you know, we, we, we'd have a common area in the house. We would all chill, bry After shooting the show, you know, we'd talk about, you know, how was this, the set, whatever, whatever. You know, all that vibe. So we're brying, we're chilling. I, you know, the rato's sipping on some wine and shit, right? Our wine is there galore. 
point. Yeah, of course, one young young understand. Form. Yeah, it's yeah. Kalo, my dog. And she there's part of talent as well. She there as well. She's also yeah, cooking. She's, cooking. she's an A-list at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. cooking, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we're all supporting our charities at the same time. So if I win a uh, hundred times, my charity wins yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's what the vibe was like, Sham. So, hey, bro. This honey then... Um, at the bride situation Then explains to us We're all talking personal stuff You know what I'm saying mm, She then yeah. tells us that She got gang raped bro oh. By multiple oh. niggas at a party After drinking or some shit like oh. that oh. Young understand And I really felt bad bro Of course I, re- I felt so bad And at that time I just My wife just given birth To my beautiful daughter Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and Kuma at that time Baby how old was Kuma at that time She was turning around About three months in March Right And Yo. And, and you know having a daughter changes your whole life. Your whole life, your, your whole, whole perspective. perspective. Your yeah. outlook, yeah. It's, it's almost like if you were a player and you have a daughter, you kind of rethink yeah, your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But I had this child in wedlock. The only you thing understand? you'll do now is play with your daughter. That's it. That's it, mm. bro. You know what I'm saying? And you have to give them that sense of family at all times, yeah. you know? So, um, she, she, I then called my wife to tell her, I'm like, yo, baby, you know this Lorato chick, Lorato Molloy, whatever thing? Um, she's been through a crazy experience. I mean, she got gang raped. You know, and and you know, we have a daughter now. I mean, Kumo needs to be protected from such things. You see what the kind of world. You knew this uh, just uh, by just you and her. No, everyone, everyone, we're praying, we're praying, sharing personal stories. Mm. Around the fire, yeah. How was the mood when she said that? Yo, it was super fucking weird. Cause I'm telling you, was everybody was like, there's something wrong with this honey up here. Personal. Oh, no, no, losing network, nyana. So you understand? So, um, fine. I tell my wife about this experience and the next morning when she wakes up, she's awkward. Okay? She's not talking to anybody on the set, whatever, whatever. Uh, okay, nobody gives a shit. Okay, fine. We continue with life. I get eliminated at that point in time. Even, yeah, just after, not even, yeah, after this whole situation, I get eliminated from the show. I eliminated myself on purpose. Okay, I'm not on purpose. On purpose, do you know why? My daughter... Was turning three months uh, on the 18th of March, mm, mm, ne? Mm. and in my culture, if you give your child the first spoon, it will have your appetite. It will have the same appetite as you, the same palate as you. Oh, for real! And I'm a chef, dog. Give her. If my daughter's gonna eat something, it's gonna be cooked by me, my nigga. Oh, give her the first first spoon. I, yeah, I the first mean, spoon. No, children don't eat solids for the first three months yeah, of their life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, just milk. milk. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. So I. Uh, on three months, they're gonna be introduced to solids, which is porridge, which is purity. But, 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 yeah, you don't understand. Oh. So, n- not solid, but, but then, yeah, um, um, but, but, porridge, yeah, steam, but, ma- yeah. Ma- mabele, those type of vibes. But, but she's been having mabele from Perth. <laughs> So so you go home then. <laughs> hey yeah. <laughs> is that, is yeah, that a real I, I thing? Do, do you believe in that though? Yeah, yeah it's a real thing. I mean I in Kule Nyaz didn't live from a car. Mon pi spoon is it here's a a spoon? We have this. Oh gum phones are yeah, yeah, phones. Yeah, mm-hmm. He has to be the first one. Yes. Oh fair enough. Young understand. Shit, I didn't do that, man. Oh, Shut up. So, oh, oh, come on. Oh. And you oh. fucking feel your own child and you cares oh. and his phones up. Fuck ah son like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey man. <laughs> so mm. you don't understand the machita. Okay, yeah. fine. Um where was I? Uh, 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 yeah, you, you yeah, eliminated so, yourself. Yeah, yeah. to go. Yeah. Okay, so you buy it. Sure. And then I, I'm getting side gigs from this Master Chef show left, right, and center. Because my character on the show was absolutely awesome. Mm-hmm. So I was getting spin offs for mm-hmm. days. Mm-hmm. I had my own cooking show called Casa mm-hmm. uh, my wow. VIP recipe, where I take celebrities to where they come from and I'll take whatever they grew up eating as a favorite home meal and I'll modernize it. I'll change the recipe oh, and make it like a, shit, a Michelin star dish type of situation. Ooh. Sharp, I lived my life. Everything was good. Fast forward six to seven years later. Long time ago, I've been bumping into her ever since the Shooting Master Chef. Young and attend her banana. Say banana. Good vibes. Industry, events, everything. Jo, Jo. She's even DMing mom at that time. Oh, please, you're forced. She wants to be mom's friend. And mom is like, you know what? Tell, what the fuck is up with this bitch? Tell her to chill. I don't want to be friends with Lerato, bro. This is wild. Are you for real, my I dog? This is wild. Maya, Maya, why wow. would mom want to be friends with Lerato? Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing I'm 
Our Zion buyers are from the modeling industry. Don't forget my wife was a model. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And she... I like I say, you understand. <laughs> Let's go, let's get it, cause he low key trying to be calm. He really heated about this shit, y'all. Let's go, let's get it. Right, yeah, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't Abazani, have a Abazani. Abazani, Abazani from the modeling industry. Don't forget my wife was a model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. And she did the international scene and so did Lerato. So she felt like what did they could be a connection mm, kind I of thing. Industry scheme, yeah, those friends. He's it DMing mommy why why mommy's blue taking hair. You understand? Sharp, no problem. Then six years later, she drops this thing that I raped her, bro. She doesn't open a case against Pepsi, cause six gone. months from uh, 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 six years from well, six years, yeah, from the yes. show after Makes the show. Sense. Yeah, okay. She now goes onto Twitter, but I have a case. She dropped the tweet with no case. I go to court. I'm like, you know what? I want a protection order from this person because she's writing things on Twitter that is a lie. You understand? And this, the, 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 this thing is the tormenting to my career. And why would she... Before you go to court, yeah. um, when that tweet and drops... And I too much, no? Yeah, no, when, that, that's fine. when that tweet drops, your phone, is it not going crazy? Hey! My phone is going mad, bro. My phone is going mad, mad, mad. And that time, I'm a phone call or call, I'm a cancer day shit. Mm. Oh. Channels dropping me left, right, and center. I'm being oh. dropped by BET. I was supposed to do a behind the story with Paul Tusi for BET. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Twitter, we can't, we can't. To the eight alive. Mm. To the eight BET alive. They said, Mia must be removed from the show, must be removed from TV. Mm. They killed my show on MTV. My show was playing on MTV, not just MTV South Africa, but MTV. International. Whoa. Fuck. MTV, MTV. Whoa. MTV, MTV. My friend. Viacom, Viacom. You MTV. understand? Because after Aston Kusha left, I was the next person to do the pranks on. Mm. on Fuck out of here. No, he was not. He, no, he's not. Who is tall ass, man? We got to dig in him more. Because everybody know about Ashley Cooker. Simple as that, man. Stop playing. He said he was the next nigga to do pranks. Stop playing. I need y'all to fill me in on that. I don't believe that one right there. I mean, he said it, though. But fill, but fill me in. We got to dig in more into all that as well. Wow, MTV, MTV. Oh. MTV, MTV. My Viacom, Viacom. You understand? Because after Aston Kusha left, I was the next person to do the pranks on mm. on for MTV. Yeah, sure, My show bro. was translated in seven different languages around oh. the world. Jesus, bro. Wow. Man, man. Serious bank. Now, understand, bro. And when they call you. drops me. SAPC drops me. Zansi drops me. Where to drops me. One Magic drops me. And they're not asking you your side of the no, story. No, they have to stay. What what's this word? Be impartial. Yeah. Shit. Wow, they're not even saying uh, after the investigation we'll make a. It's like we you are, you are gone. Just clear yourself. Just clear yourself. Fuck me. I deals family like yo. I endorsements, bro. You don't understand this, but I had serious fucking endorsements, my nigga. Even after I retired, I was still making money. I was done with the game when she dropped this tweet. I was retired. I was in my retirement. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. You weren't active, but... I was retired, so I was no longer running around on stage. Wow, I, 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 that's crazy. That's crazy. It's enough. You're comfortable, yeah. I was comfortable. You're a family man. You, you don't understand. <coughs> and on top of that, when I retired, I gave the baton to my son. I'm like, yo, boy. The stage is yours now. Me and you can't be queen, you queen, you together on stage. Oh, well, no, no. Oh, she's a cobra. I'm a monkey. Oh, I'm a monkey. Oh, I'm a monkey. Oh, I'm a monkey. Oh, bruh. You know, why I say queen, you queen, you, because most parents are like coaching their kids. Hey, queen, you. Hey, it's a good record. Queen, you queen, you queen. Yeah, yeah. So I can't do the queen, you queen, you with TK on stage, bro. That's why I step back. And I was eating money on different platforms. Bro, you mentioned about over 20 income streams. My bro. My bro. You understand? Jeez. And never not once was I ever on Instagram flossing shit. Yeah. Because my money goes to my family. I don't wear my money, bro. Yeah. I'm wearing Vans. Vans, Vans. And prior to that, your image was clean, dog. In terms clean. of like, there was no... Oh, God. He said, I don't wear my money and you don't see me popping shit on Instagram. Because what's the point? I'll be like, I'm like tall ass man. What's the point? I don't got time. Yeah. Cause my money goes to my family. I don't wear my money, bro. Yeah. I'm wearing Vans, Vans, Vans. And prior to that, your image was clean, dog. In terms clean. of like, there was no drink and driving. I'm a family man. I got, I started dating on TV. I got engaged on TV. I got married on TV. My child was born on TV. My children grew up on TV. What the fuck more does this country want from you? You want like a book? Well, it's better than 
bad example. But you're a clean TV. No, literally, I was mad. That was a bad, horrible example. Oh but, my god. But like a clean TV family. Brand. That's what I yeah, was. Yeah, and I was yeah, yeah. risque yeah. in a sense because I'm a comedian, so anything that comes out of my mouth can be a wild card. You know also, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what people know me for, bro. I was the host of Essays Got Talent, bro. Oh, Shit, bro. That's wow. like. Wow. That's good. That, it's a tall ass one is a big ass deal. Simple as that. That's all we got to say, y'all. <laughs> you understand no, what I'm saying? No. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll be briefed on what to do from Simon Cowell's office. Man. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, man. Is he for real, y'all? For real, because I feel like how nah, they say, whoa, I'm the same energy for real. Man, no, man, hold on, man. Let me know, man. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll be briefed on what to do from Simon Cowell's office. Man. Whoa. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? That's where I was with my shit. Yeah. Fuck. It's performing all over the world. It's performing in the States. I'm on World Star Hip Hop. I'm an Emmy-nominated stand-up comedian. Oh, whoa. You, you understand, bro. So... My you career, career. Oh, you're a big deal, bro. Dude, I didn't that's realize it. you were this big. This hey, big, oh God, that's what I'm like. Hey, I feel just like these niggas right now. Like, oh, oh, like, look at this nigga, like, like, damn. Like, this nigga really popping, hold on. <laughs> and Max stupid as hell. Look at the look on this nigga face, y'all. Let's go, let's get it. My oh, career. Oh, you're a big deal, bro. Dude, I didn't realize you were this big. This yeah. big, but I'm under G with it because me out. Yes, I got some the first time for a machita. You understand? Yeah, you. I I need to go the position whereby, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be flaunting my success. Never do My that, success, bro, yes, yeah. bonus. I got a lot of haters. A lot of people hate on me. Go to Twitter. You see, Charles Moore's not funny. Who died in it? But I mean, if I'm not hey, funny, bro. why am I an internationally Emmy nominated stand-up comedian? Same with yeah. it. Yeah. If you it's don't like get you. my comedy, you don't get That's it. You're it, just yeah. we sleep. <laughs> oh, oh. Because Benjamin, I must explain your incompetence in terms of your intelligence oh, level. Me, me, the comedy, I'm the yekis and put on my sand and the people. Oh, come on, come on, come on, bro. Let's Leave that to us. Leave, Leave that, that to my the one man. Come yeah, on. <laughs> Yes, yes, fuck. I'm one of the most hated comedians on, on Twitter, bro. But even with all that hate, I still push through, bro. Mm. This tweet dropped, you must see. There's, there's a hashtag called I believe her. I mm, believe mm, her. Mm, oh, yeah, that was I the local hashtag. Mm, mm, Bro, mm. hey, Munda, that hashtag was flying. Woman attacking me left, right, and center, bro. The biggest bitch to attack me, biggest number one feminist mm. fucking bitch, mm. Rosie Mutene. Mm. Give one a satan. Can it? Ask any nigga. Hey, Ask any nigga. <laughs> I'll tell you. Just stop my. It's all over. What? 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 Give one a satan, can it? Mm. Ask any nigga. Hey, Ask any nigga. Mm. Who tell you? Just stop my. Just tell you what? 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 Ho, ho. Yeah, from the beginning. Incredible. Let's eat beans. Eat cool. Let's eat cool beans. Kai Muten is younger sister. Kai Muten, yes. Yeah. Kai Muten is younger sister. Oh, she's enjoying cool. Oh, yeah, my lord. Up is more coachable than Rado. Tell him. Tell them he rakes. Tell them. Tell them he wants your day in court. Ask again your pressure for NPA. The NPA can see you, no, we can't prosecute this guy. Here's everything, here's the alibis, here's everything. It shows that this man is innocent. There's nothing we can prosecute this guy on. So she said you raped a way at on the Master Chef. On this at the, the house. That house here, Master Chef. Oh. That night where she was divulging. Where she was divulging. In, Come on, when you, would you go and rape someone who just told you she got damn raped by ten niggas? Ooh, uh, you'd be some sick fuck. <laughs> to begin with. How do you even get an erection or be turned? Turned on by someone who just told you such a traumatic story. Right. Tell me, no one. That's foul. So, so now, obviously, when now she has to go to to the police and have a statement. What was her ha! recollection of? Ah, the of, statement is legendary. Of, the statement. Was, yeah. I'm done and now done. Actually, do not if, even the statement I call. You see, when I do my one man show next year, I'm gonna break it down even more. Yeah. Who's the statement it's him? Tell us more. Uh, no, no. I go into my room after drinking wine. Um, we had two or three glasses after of telling heaven. the story. Yeah, after telling the story, whatever. I go to my room. I lie on the bed. Ne? But the way I'm lying on the bed, to almost. Why am I out of here? 
why he pushed that nigga like that? He pissed off. He about, he about to demonstrate for real, for real. Hey, look at my face. Hey, he's up. It's a move, nigga. <laughs> but the way I'm lying on the bed. Oh, I'm almost sorry. But hey, I'm out of here. Man. The way I'm lying on the bed is like this. Leg, one leg on, another leg balancing. <laughs> I'm sleeping. She says she's sleeping, but the door is slightly open. So, what? then so what? she passed out in that position. Yeah, she passed out in this position. Yeah, okay. Ah, you must remember that position. Yeah. Passed out in that position. Yeah. Sha. <laughs> then she said, "Mila," I whispered her name. Lerato. Lerato. Three times. Mutota away, by the way. Skalibal, she's passed out. This fucking person. Oh yeah, yeah, from great. But she can hear me whispering her name. Mm. Fair Atin Atin Yangen are going to the room. Okay, get into the room. She then says that now. I removed, I tried to forcefully remove her clothes. Oh. I but I chill on the clothes thing. I'm like, fuck it, me, I want some foreplay. I take my dick out and I put it in her mouth. Oh, oh fuck it, hell. She yeah. said that in a statement. In a statement! And he took his dick, his penis out and put it forcefully She's still in. Asleep now. Yeah, still asleep. But she heard you whispering. Don't worry, hey. it's, it's a comp- it, I- Hey, that shit, wow. That's wow. Now I can see why he pissed the hell off. Now she told him, that's wow. She's still asleep, asleep now. Yeah, still asleep. But sleep. she heard you whispering. Don't worry, it's, it's a comp- I mean, her story is so wonderful. <laughs> it's a beautiful story, this one. Now you'll tell me, you'll make me understand. <laughs> I'm even shaking. Now, this chick, ne? She says that I forcefully put my penis in her mouth. Mm-hmm. Then after, well, like afterwards, after I took off her clothes forcefully, then, listen to this, guys. Because this statement, Instagram, because people are not going to believe this shit. And I want South Africa to see this fucking statement for their own selves. I read factor five times. One, two, three, four, five. Penetrated, baby. Five. Correct. That's a statement. I, I penetrated her five times. Pulled out, ne? kissed her on her forehead, put a blanket over her, and said, That was some good shit. And I walked out. What? <laughs> what kind of rape? <laughs> Fantasy fucking romance story is that, bro? <laughs> Do you hear this shit, dog? <gasps> I'm sorry. This shit is nothing, not a laugh factor. But why this nigga, look at this nigga, that's why these niggas screaming, bro. Hey. This nigga, bro, the way he tell it is just, I'm speechless, y'all. Put a blanket over her and said, that was some good shit. And I walked out. What? <laughs> what kind of rape? <laughs> Fantasy fucking romance story is that, bro? Do you hear this shit, dog? <gasps> oh, Do you hear this oh, shit? Oh, no way, bro. This bro. can't be true, dog. Mom is here, dog. Like, for real. Nick Chela. In court. Smiley statement that Panero Mahate, this thing is going to court. Hey, left, right, and center. NPA, everyone is dropping my case. Hey, we don't want to prosecute. Hey, we don't want to prosecute. Hey, we don't want to prosecute. <laughs> it took them two and a half years. Bansabai investigator, but Bansabai don't prosecute. I'm Maracupins again. That's the first thing we're doing. Yeah, Kupin. 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 No NPA hey, <laughs> pressure. I can you pressure no NPA. NPA now they here June July because of what social media. Hey, she deserves pressure, a day in yeah, court. Yeah. In 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 in. Kamo, there's an article that comes out top five women believers of Lerato. Mm. Top top five women believers of Lerato. Tembisam daughter, Bloom Bombo, mm. Rosie Mutene. Um. Nsiki Mazwaya, Agaza, Life, sober, sober minded, I'm dating this person. The way the vile shit that comes out of her mouth. Penny Libiani, motherfucking, who's that poet woman? That woman was a poet. Or was all those dudes? Lebo Mashile. Lebo fucking Mashile, dog. He can't stand that one. Most of these women are all women I've worked with. Hmm. Wow. And they know you. They know me. Your character. They know my integrity. They've been to my home. Tim is a fucking them daughter. The worst. That's crazy. Not been to his home. That's crazy. 
Do you know how ironic the shows that she does? Oh, yeah, talk, but she's the biggest fucking liar. Oh, why not an interview yen? But interview an in yen, yeah, talk. Because number one, she fucking lied about those kids. They, those are out. Those aren't the Tandra's kids. Yeah, yeah. Interview her. How, how do you try and play Black Panther, dog? <laughs> <laughs> hey, somebody fill and me in the comments. How? When you want to bike. Yes. How? Fill me in. Oh. Tell me what she did. Oh, oh Bambi said she had no black panty punch. I don't speak to you. 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 I come along with no. These are my kids. What? What? Sharp. Okay, fine. During that whole situation, because we're friends with these people. Couple yeah. friends. Me and mom with that uh, and, and stuff. Ne? Yeah. Sharp. <coughs> Out of nowhere, long time ago. Now, the situation everybody knows with these kids are not the time those kids. Mm. This honey then gives us a call during New Year's, going towards New Year's Eve, so from my daily 31st. I can't do this. I can't do this life thing anymore. Yeah, it's over for me. Hey, man, this person is committing suicide, Mos. Tell me, sir. Tell me, sir. Shame more to spend. Before coming out that the kids are not a tandem. After! You said they're cheese. Oh, man. yeah, she's a Zambuela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the, fair the enough. Coca Crew is there at the door. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga. Long time ago, Sengena into the house. Ne? If you commit, if. Yo, if you try to take your life. You're gonna come better yourself. You mm. don't want people to disturb your process. Mm, mm, I understand mm. this because I was suicidal myself. Mm, yeah. Okay? Mm. This person. It was like we were set up to find her where she was. Lying on the bed, tablets everywhere. <laughs> iPad. Oh, shit, tablets. Yeah, I'm a police. Fucking hell. No, no, no. Come on. I was just in the hands of the moon. I seen that. Look at Timbisa, dog. You think that you are betting the whole of Timbisa? Spawn the township. Petty gas, shop. I hear you, man. I'm petty class, you dog. Mm. Okay, fine. Sharp. When we look at the tablets that you're taking, homeopathic. You can't die from this fucking thing, man. <laughs> you can't die from happy pills, my man. You can't die from the mapilis long and sugar and yana, so. Most when you are not doing. You are not. What do I call them, most when? Sukog. Yeah, Sukog, man. <laughs> Mm-mm. Touching this person, I don't know what the out of the blue mm. to go ahead and say, I also support Lerato. Mm. Heaven, Zhuang, sure, Zhuang, 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 Zhuang. How when you and I have never been like I've been to I'm a family functions, I give not my dad, I know his sisters. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Hey, bro. Because she wants to ride hype and become relevant. That's mm. what Lerato was doing in the first place. That's yeah, all of them. That's what they all do. Your you contact to uh, After your personal relationship. Awkward, awkward meetings. Her. We met at the Castle Milk Stout show. Hey, she's like I didn't put on blast. Hey, babe. You know what? Mommy was stepping on my foot the whole night like this, dog. She's the MC of the show of that black conversations with Milk Stout. Same Shandy's that Sol is drinking now. You don't understand? Mm. Yeah, throw the bag, Mokstaff. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah, here it is since, you, re, since you revealed it anyway. Yeah, you understand. So, she's the MC of the thing. Mm. My conversation is about what? Cancel culture. Hmm. With Dineo and um, Celeste and Dooley mm. and uh, shit, I forgot that other guy. Very fucking beautiful personality, man. What's his name? Olawa Milenian. My play, oh, yes. my play. Oh, my yeah, yeah, my play. Yeah, yeah, my play. Very fucking lovely guy. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Guy, yeah. Um, and 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 the other guy, I don't remember his name properly. Ne? Bro, we're there at the launch thing. She's yeah. the MC. So now she has to ask people about the the episodes we're discussing about. Hey, Mfana, you know, I wanted to put her on blast when she asked me. And tell us more. Hey, the way she introduced me, bro. Hey, wow. she called me by all the accolades, baba. Wow. What's Biza Zonke? No wow. ways, bro. Okay. You're calling me by all my accolades and and now you're asking me a question about this cancel culture thing. You know, I want you to stand up and tell her in the face, but you know what? You are one of the people that caused me to be in the situation I'm in. So I don't understand. How are you on that stage in the fucking first place? Huh? Mm-hmm. 
Can Can you understand me? Why do you think these ladies do this? It's to ride on relevance. Understand what Lerato did, bro. She opened up a GoFundMe account, bro. Wow. (laughs) She's... Chad! What 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 were the funds meant to pay for? Illegal fees? Illegal fees! No, I say for real. I'm telling you, bro. She opened a GoFundMe account and she was talking to international people. Because oh, I actually know that niggas known around the world and shit. So where's she gonna cry? To all the places where your face is, is known. Is known, yeah. I will go find me account. Ask me about Kenza Bukaida, the world. The whole people that the believers of Lerato and the and the believers of Lerato and the broke man. Sis! <laughs> How much? Sis, sis. You know to think the way you guys were pushing me on Twitter, they believe and believe. Make me have more at least the company. And then I guess I don't believe it's broke. Well, all that shit y'all took it away, y'all blew this shit up, y'all should've blew the account up. You know, on Twitter, they don't believe, they don't believe. They don't believe, they don't believe. At least, they don't believe, they don't believe. 38 run feet! Are you sick? I'm gonna go on the fucking the fuck? website, dog. It's still there, bro. bro. <laughs> so your career was <laughs> $38. So your career was worth $38. In Rennes, it's 500 done. 38 dollars So your career was worth $38. To her! Jeez. To her, my bro. In court, Ula. June, July. Bro, is this for real, though? I'm telling you, bro. This is not a comedy story, bro. <laughs> this is story. real life shit, my nigga. So in court, then, how, how are the proceedings? How did the proceedings go? Never mind the proceedings. I'm trying to... I'm scared to go outside. I'm scared to go outside. I'm scared to go outside. I'm scared. GBV is on the rise. I'm trying to see some cheese and no. Yeah, true, true. We saw what happened now. The she put my fucking life in danger. This woman, bro. Mm. So I was running away from shit. But anyway, in the court, two day trial. This fucking woman sits there in the court, giving everybody attitude. Oh, yes. Before we get to court, because we had to prove, there's a thing called representations. Representations is a document you send to the NPA to show them that, yo, there's no need to prosecute the client because you are not going to beat us in court. And you know what happens that if we beat you in court, we're going to hold you liable for everything, right? Mm. So reconsider. Think about this thing. I paid close to, I don't know how much, 40 to 50K for that thing. For that representation letter. It was turned down by the NPA. The NPA said no because they got pressure from... Coupines and friends. Mm. You don't understand? <laughs> so, so now, because of this, because of this pressure that the NPA was receiving, they had to prosecute me. So they went ahead and they prosecuted me. But during that time, then what happened is that they sent an, an offer to me. So like, Mo would like to offer you a diversion. Now, a diversion is something that you're only offered in a small altercation. Yeah. Like maybe go shapagampama and then diversion is me saying, yes, I'm guilty and I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll go and do a community service to open the pampirinyana that came to the toilet and then get the sebane. You wanna understand? Mm. My dog, they offer me a diversion for rape. How do you offer a nigga diversion for you can't? You can't offer a murderer or a rapist a diversion. Yeah, that yeah. person needs to stand fucking trial. Go to prison if they're guilty because they're dangerous in society. You understand, bro? So she was trying to get herself off, so I take the diversion, so I don't go to court anymore, so I'm guilty, but not going to prison. Hmm. Taking that diversion is admission of guilt. Yeah, it is, yes. it is, it is. So when I got the diversion, I told my lawyer, I'm like, these are my exact words, I told them I tell the NPA. I said, tell the NPA that they can go fuck themselves, I'll see you in court. And we met in court, my bro. Yes. State funds wasted. There are real people out there that are victims of this hey, thing. Man. Only have to buy a flyer. Hey, they say, hey, NPA, you have a flyer from Joburg to Cape Town. A hotel set up. Hey, victim, you have to Our poor victim. That's crazy. Sharp. Court case, in the court, the judge is now uh, proceeding with the matter. The NPA is asking her questions, and so is my advocate asking her questions. This is how they bust this chicken among our worker in the court. They ask her, give us a date of when Mo raped you at the 14 March. What's that, am I right, baby? Uh, 18, oh, 18 March. At the, yeah, at the 18 March, okay. 2014. Yeah? Mm. Shut up, my, my, my advocate is like, okay, fine. 18 March, 2014, you say he raped you. Yes, he did. Let me check out Mo's alibi. Here's Mo's Instagram and social media. Ooh. 18 March, I think you were raped. 18 March. Now the ooh. Back silly. 
Let me check out Mo's alibi. Here's Mo's Instagram and social media. Ooh. 18 March. I think you were raped. 18 March in the evening. 18 March here, 7 a.m. Mo is in a flight. British Airways going back to where? Jersey. I'm even saying on my caption, my face, you can see me. I'm in the flight. I'm going. They say objection, what, what? I uh, know can a woman can get a date wrong. If an incident happens, you have 30 days. But for 30 yeah. days before, 30 days after the actual date. Mm. My advocate was like, sharp. We'll give her the, the, better, the benefit of the fact that she could have got the date wrong. Maybe more was still there. Sharp, they ask her, what happened? On MasterChef, what were you guys doing? What was the activity? What were you shooting on the day? That day, yeah. She says, we're shooting the Burger Stack Challenge. Mm. Sharp, playing Burger Stack Challenge. They, they, they got a TV in the court. What are they, MasterChef? Episode one, it is done. Episode two, eliminated. Guess when the Burger Stack episode is? Episode three. Five. Oh, five. Oh, Lord. They episode oh, five. Oh, my God. It's not episode five. What is she based on? Episode five. Trying to trap on tall ass nigga Mo, man. I don't know. Mo ain't going on. Hey, I love this nigga face expressions, bro. This nigga is so serious. This is nothing to play with right now. So serious. What are the master chef? <laughs> Episode one, it is da. Da. Episode two, eliminated. eliminated. Guess when the Burger Stack episode is? Episode three or up. five? Oh fuck! Oh, they play episode five. They play episode three. Oh, Mo is not here. Wow. Well, I think maybe you went to the toilet. <laughs> episode four, he is not here. He must have some serious fuck <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> episode five, still not there. This nigga is shitting all over the place. <laughs> I'm not there. Mm. So, Lerato, who was the person that raped you then? If this person clearly is not there, guess what this woman says? She says, it could have been my dark aura. You? Huh? What does she mean? What? Could have been who's my dark aura? My dark aura. In the in 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 the aura, not the aura, is that invisible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Aura, is that yeah. light that symbolizes good or bad yes, around your yes, body? Yes, like a chakra system. Around, yeah. It's a chakra system, man. Left my body from Jersey to Cape Town. I said to you, I don't know if I can't get my power to get my power to get my power to get at good night. No, 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 you didn't say, it didn't say good night. It said, um... That was some good shit. Yeah. <laughs> You understand me, bro? Now the spirit did it. Oh, Lord. What type of drugs is this lady on? That's the real question. Then he said, do you understand me, bro? I'm good shit. Yeah. <laughs> you understand me, bro? Well, she said this in the court. That it could have been in your aura. In the court. She said, she said her, her words. Her words. Could have been your aura. Her words. What the fuck are you doing? My man, the court, she no. said it could have been your aura. The way that I tell her, I call him, she couldn't give a fuck. No matter what they ask him, they say, okay, fine, you say this man, but they were charging me for three counts of rape, guys. They were charging me for sexual harassment because you said I removed her clothes off her body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The expensive. second charge of, oh, that, that's sexual harassment. The second charge was rape. Forceful entry of my penis in her mouth. Oh, jeez. Third charge of rape is penetration. Forceful oh, penetration. Of rape, yeah. I was supposed that's to get crazy. 35 to life. No fucking Because way, it's the same bro. offense to the same person. No fucking way, Mo. Multiple offense on one person. Bye bye. I accumulate. Hey, for any weird ass niggas that even thought about that fucking thought, that's why you don't do that shit, man. He just broke the game down. That shit crazy, man. That shit. This nigga almost got 35 to life. Niggas deserve life and they shit ain't off if they do that. Simple as that. But guilty and caught on film. Multiple offense on one person. Bye bye. I accumulate. Benzo hmm. Tola. 35 to life. Yes. Nobody knows this shit. Nobody knows what the fuck I was going through during that time. You understand? Out, bro. So they ask a simple question. Mm. Okay, fine. You said he, Mo put your, his dick in your mouth. But on the statement it says your eyes were closed. So how can you close your eyes but you can't close your mouth? Hmm. Then she said that no, I allowed him to put his dick in my mouth because he was going to break my jaw. Bitch, what kind of dick do I got that can break a jaw? <laughs> <laughs> and he pushed the boy! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh no, y'all. Oh no. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, cuz Soul got up out of there. Soul do so. Where's Soul go? Where's Soul go? Hold on, cuz I got it zoomed in. I ain't gonna keep going so that far back. I'm trying to see where did I put. I gotta play it, y'all. I gotta laugh. A simple question. Mm. Okay, fine. You said he Mo put we're, your hey, he's so taking your out the way, yo. But on the statement it says your eyes were closed. So how can you close your eyes but you can't close your mouth? Hmm. Then she said that no, I allowed him to put his dick in my mouth because he was gonna break my jaw. Bitch, what kind of dick do I got that can break a jaw? <laughs> The interpreter, the lady who's typing. I'm looking at her the whole time. Hey, I got Oh, fuck. Hey, he's so mad, bro. This nigga pissed the fuck off. This, I will be too. This is crazy, bro. But I'm laughing so hard because so already got out the way, bro. He knew something was about to happen. That nigga clearly been out the way for quite a while, bro. And I'm weak. This shit is funny. Oh. He's dick in my mouth because he was going to break my jaw. Bitch, bitch, what kind of dick do I got that can break a jaw? <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> what kind of dick do I got that can break a jaw? Should I say, you will have a seam. Not disconnect, caca. No, four, five. The interpreter, the lady who's typing. I'm looking at her the whole time. I got believe. I... No fucking way. This is a true story, bro. This sounds like a Netflix. This is a true story, my bro. True story. This shit sound like a Netflix story. She can't answer. She can't tell the truth. Fine. The judges are we're supposed to be in trial for two days. The judges like, eh, hey, equal no. They're supposed to, I was supposed to be in court for three days. The trial was supposed to be three days. Yeah. Two days trial, the third day judgment. Yeah. I was only in court for one day. Second day was judgment. Where's Rosamund then? Kupin's high, yo. Oh. Ah, yo, Kupin friends, they're not there. Shit. Oh, I thought he said, how the fuck is I supposed to know? I was about to say, did I get that right, y'all? Because I felt like that's what I was saying that moment, man. So back with us, man. He had to get out the way, y'all. I got to see. <laughs> Hold on. Kupin's high, yo. Oh. Ah, your court friends, they're not there. She, every time she's ever been to court, she's never had any of her supporters. Wow. As a matter of fact, the most awkward shit was that she once saw, when I came into court the one time and she saw me and mommy walking in, she was waving at me, bro. Her? Yeah. Is she okay, this girl, bro? That's the, the thing. Victim. The victim, young <laughs> booty. So I'm like, what the fuck is this bitch reading me, dog? Oh, God. Bro, did you ever so date she's her? She's smiling anything? now. Like, Nix? You've never dated her? Nix? So you're in, you and her in one room outside of shooting master class was that period or it was the period of master of, of I mean master chef during master chef only you don't know, we, we, know meet up we meet up again at sixes we meet up again at before, sixes before the tweet before the tweet between the six years. yeah between the six years we yeah. meet at sixes this is also one of my one of the evidence pieces that helped me in court mm -hmm. we're chilling with Atandra Kani Vuyo what's his real name. She came, she, I'm chilling with Atando Kani and her mommy and Soli Muen. Mm. Lerato and Vuyo, come and join our table. Vuyo, what's his real name? What do you want? What's going on, guys? What time? It's two, so what, what, what does want? <laughs> hey, give me a moment. Oh, moment. So say, my man. So say, my man. Why you know about it? We've got trouble here, my man. Hey, two, so sorry. This guy. Hey, give me a moment. 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 Hey, give me a Vuyo, what's his real name? What do you want? What's going on, guys? What kind of two sumo? What does what? mommy want? <laughs> hey, give me a moment. Oh, moment. So say, my man. Oh, nice. so say, nice. my man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. We've got trouble here, my man. Hey, give me a tie. I'm like, hey, two sumo. This guy. Hey, give me a
Oh, cool, cool. Yes, yes. Yeah. Sixes. No, I turned out guarded. No, who's Vuyo? Vuyo, the guy who acts on the Queen, man. The Tosa guy who acts on the Queen. What's his name? Vuyo, what's his name? No, it's called Tol Kanyana on the Queen, man. Uh, I don't know, but let's see. Louisa McDonald. No, McDonald's. not Louisa McDonald, man. Then what's, that's the guy's name, Vuyo, man. Uh, the, he plays Schumacher on the on, on the oh, show. Oh, I see the Schumacher character. Yeah. He was dating the at that time. Was mm. 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 Okay, uh, let's wait for six years. His time is coming. Ah, well. yeah, you know what? It's, it's coming. So the out there, they come in the drummers on my table. We have a picture together. She's holding a glass of whiskey and a cigar in her hand. So I caught by keeping the picture. Because she said to me, she said to the guys at the court that she couldn't work anywhere. She couldn't go anywhere because Mina, I'm all over the place. And when she has to see me, she feels traumatized. So she would not take any bookings whereby she knows I'm going to be there. Or, she, 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 or anything that she knows that I might be there. So she lost a lot of money during my time because she was traumatized when she might see me in public. They take out the picture. Hey, bitch, here's a picture of you. Mo, mommy. And I tell you, you guys are chilling very comfortably here. You have a drink in your hand and a cigar. You said this man traumatized you and you could not stand to be in his presence. How did you come to be on this table? <laughs> Guess what the bitch says? I'm in a new relationship. My boyfriend knows Mo and is cool with them. So he kind of forced me to go and sit with them at the table. Wow. Ladies out there, if when would you chill with your girlfriend's rapist and have a drink? You know, would you chill with me, dog? I'll fuck you up, bro. You would fuck me up on sight, my nigga. You have on every side, right I'll, to. I'll fuck hey. you up on sight. On sight, simple as that. With your girlfriend's rapist and have a drink. You know, would you chill with me, dog? I'll fuck you up, bro. You would fuck me up on sight, my nigga. You have on every side, right I'll, to. I'll fuck you up on sight. You have every right to fuck yeah. me up on sight. Every single right. Oh, if, if Guess I what? The bitch didn't even chill. tell Vuyo about the story. Because there was no story. She was still, at that time, maybe still making it up in her head. Or still planning to drop this thing. I holler back at Vuyo because I'm trying to get information, bro. I'm like, yo, Vuyo, please holler back at me about this chick. He sends me a DM saying, I don't want to be involved. I'm full no guys. Anything with this girl's name on it, please don't. Don't holler at me. And I understand why he did that. I don't blame him. I'm going to blame him, food. I'm going to blame him. Her ex-husband helped me. Lerato Muloy's ex-husband. That guy fucking helped me. How? Supported me because he told me that Mo, I don't believe anything this woman is saying. The ex-husband. The ex-husband. Who believed you throughout all of this? My wife. Only. My wife and oh, a couple of other people that say, oh, we believe you, Mo. Uh, but unfortunately, we can't say that publicly because it could be career suicide. Nah, then they don't believe you, man. So wait, so the husband only says, I don't believe her, or he, he tells you why he doesn't believe her. He tells me why he doesn't believe her. This woman, this guy raised this child, young Fothan. Ten years later, now she wants the child back. This nigga's like, fuck you, you're not going to have access to this kid. You're going to have access according to me. Mm -hmm. She goes to child protection court and says, the husband is... Molesting or abusing. Oh! Oh. What the fuck, bro? The Rato who? The Rato Muloy. Oh, okay. Oh, to this fun Saturday. <laughs> hey, my man. Well, understand, bro. Jeez. This guy. So, this is now man to man. Now we're talking Jeez, about this woman who's man. fucking up our lives, bro. Mm. Oh, that's not even valid. Did, did, she, did she win that in court? That no! The husband was, no, was the husband, a child. The husband won. The husband oh, got access, custody of the child. The child. Bro, this, bro. Yeah. This is the child. She tried to use the child against the, child. the husband. This is I'm pure evil, you. man. I'm a man for men. I'm a man for men. I'm a man for men. Yeah, oh, mama, mama. The kid needs to know the mom, but. Do you understand, bro? Bro. bro. You child. Child. So he put this nigga through night. That man is there was a time when she was supposed to appear in court with me. She lied to the court and said that she might have contracted COVID, so she can't appear. 
And the reason why she lied about it is because she was appearing at child protection court on the very same day at the very same court in Ramburg. <laughs> 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 bro, is she, has she, has she been diagnosed, bro? My nigga, is she okay? Rosie Mutena, please help your friend. Poppins, now go, pa. Believers, believers. He said, help your motherfucking crazy. That shit crazy, crazy ass, bro. Bro, is she, has she, has she been diagnosed, bro? My nigga, is she okay? Rosie Mutena, please help your friend. Poppins, now go, pa. Believers, believers. In some challenge, they're supporting one about to allow to have mental assistance because for now, Uncle, I'm busy with the NPA and shit like that. Ne? Jeez, so, I'm not going to worry. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. I still have next year. I'm going to go Now, everybody is trying to see through her shit. Hmm. Everyone is trying. I had even other producers coming to tell me with no more. This honey during my time when you were going through your shit, she was advocating to get a television show that, that goes out helping women of abuse. Oh. This is all for cloud, my nigga. Before wow. the case was even concluded. Before it was even concluded, bro. She was not trying to say Gunning for shows, gunning for money, gunning for support, going to interviews, going to mass, going to radio and speaking to Penny Libiani. Penny Libiani, they out there sympathizing with her, saying that I'm a rapist. But she's fucking everywhere. She comes to our spaces. What the fuck was she doing at Ricky's funeral, bro? She's... This is my space. And you think I'm gonna feel uncomfortable because you are there? She's out there trying to mingle with young boys, with small boys. I'm Tarangaga. I don't know who's gonna tell about Penny Libyani, but... Don't tell me about Penny Libyani. She must pay a debt. I'm about to fresh. Then you must come talk to me. Jeez, bro. This is crazy. I'm telling you, bro. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Because in South Africa, bro, I've been taken for a boost, bro. How long? How long? Yeah, man. But some of the people, even though I came out, the, the court has said straight up that this person, the judgment said that she's a belligerent liar, a waste of state resources, an unreliable witness to the court of law. Judge's words. Judge's words. And guess how the judge delivers the shit? Jeez, bro. No, no, before you get to that, man, y'all still on this nigga back, though? Like, this is crazy, man. He said, I'm tired of shit. Yeah. I'm not going to tell him what Penny to be honest, but. Don't tell me about Penny Brian. She must pay a debt. Some of are fresh. Then you must come talk to me. Jeez, bro. This is crazy. I'm telling you, bro. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Because in South Africa, bro, I've been taken for a boost, bro. How long? How long? Yeah, man. But some of the people, even though I came out, the, the court has said straight up that this person, the judgment said that she's a belligerent liar, a waste of state resources, an unreliable witness to the court of law. Judge's words. Judge's words. And guess how the judge delivers the shit? Jeez, bro. Normally when you de when they deliver a sentence to a person, the victim has to leave the courtroom. So that they can deliver the sentence and then she'll be told, the victim will be told, okay, no more toilet 35 or whatever. The judge said to her, Arwena, you are not going out of this court. I want you to sit there because I want you to hear my yeah, judgment. Yeah. The doctor was sitting in the crowd, bro. You know where people go and yeah. commentate the court? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, she was oh. there. Sitting with the audience now, while the judge is giving my ruling. You know that woman apologized to me for the shit that I went through. Wow. She apologized to me, bro. And this is a female magistrate. Oh. So South Africa must not fucking Even come and tell me. a female magistrate. Africa, so there was no bias. Why who? I want to pal. If uh, Cape Town. There was no bias. There was no bias. There was no fucking bias. No bias. There was no... This case was not... There's not enough evidence. No. There was more than enough evidence yeah, from my side to prove that I'm innocent. With rape cases, that there's not enough evidence. And, yeah, and they may say, oh, Mo got away with it because he, he, he's, he's, he's wealthy, or Mo got away with it because he's a celebrity or whatever. How? Why is Bricks in fucking jail, dog? Why is Bricks in jail? So after if the, the South African system does not defend people, no, it, it works. doesn't work. The system works. If, 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 at times, yeah. At times, why? It works. And then after the case, anything changes? Oh, man. Does anything change? Bro, what do you mean anything changes, bro? The stigma still stays with me, bro. Yeah. It'll yeah. stick with yeah. you for forever. Forever. forever, bro. Forever, you mm. are forever. I'm, 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 I'm getting into the fact that even to tell the media that don't say I just got accused of rape, I got fucking falsely accused of it. False. Put in the word. Did you see Justice for Bafana? That's another thing. That kid who my committed Instagram, suicide. If you can read yours. my Instagram, bro. Sorry, sorry. I'm yeah. interrupting you. Yeah, sorry. Well, explain what happened to yeah, Justice, Justice for Bafana. Justice for Bafana is it's a high school kid who got falsely accused of rape. 
by a, another girl and the kid took his life. He couldn't take it. And he wrote a suicide letter and the yeah. girl later on came out to say that she was, she was just choking. choking. That's crazy. See, if he, like, this is, this is not, this is not, no, this is just something you just don't play with. You know, you just don't do meth, you don't do heroin, crack, them, them drugs. This is something you just don't play with, man. Damn, that's crazy. By a, another girl and the kid took his life he couldn't take it and he wrote a suicide letter and the yeah. girl later on came out to say that she was, she was just choking. choking and the kid is dead now he killed himself because he was falsely accused but this is the reason school. why kids i came school. to the show kids in high school that kid's article look at my instagram i posted about it and i spoke about this thing and i told myself in my heart i'm gonna go to make this show because I know I'm going to have the opportunity in the platform to speak my mind freely as a black man in South Africa without being censored. Yeah, this is the platform, man. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Look at Mac. Mac like, nigga. This is fucking crazy. Because that's how I feel right now. For real, for real. And he's just thankful, man. He's just thankful he got that platform where niggas can just come openly talk. I know I'm going to have the opportunity in the platform to speak my mind freely as a black man in South Africa without being censored. Yeah, this is the platform, man. You understand what I'm it's saying, no bro? censoring. That kid took his life. I understand what the parents of that child are going through because my wife had to catch me a couple of times hanging from my ceiling, from the garage. I took the horse's noose and I handed it on my neck. I was... Attempting suicide multiple times. Then Ricky took his life, bro. Ricky took his fucking life. You know what that shit did to Mommy? Because of people on Twitter that go and talk shit about our lives. But Bonnet, they're afraid to stand up and do something. Because Bonnet, they, they're at the comfort of their home, sitting down and just talking shit on Twitter about people's lives. When no one talks shit about theirs because their lives are not even relevant to be spoken of. That nigga took his fucking life. You know what it did to my wife? That was mommy's friend, bro. That was mommy's little brother, bro. You understand? I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't do it anymore because I knew what it's going to do to her. I couldn't, I couldn't allow myself to replay another situation where she loses someone because of this thing. You, you, you understand me, my niggas? No, no, I got you, man. I got you, man. Then, then, then what happens to me? What happens to me? And what is, what is this girl doing now? She's living, She's living a fucking life, dog. Nothing I'm not happened. done with her. No, I'm not done with her. And I'm not done with any of the people that supported her and called me a rapist without even having any solid evidence, without even knowing what the fuck happened, not even bothering to call me and ask me, what Mo, tell me your side of the story. That's crazy. Bro, what do you think is that? He applying pressure. Y'all need to let me know how much the pressure get how much pressure getting applied because I know they're applying pressure. I know Matt putting pressure. Let's go and let's get it, man. Because what happened to you could happen to any anybody. Guy, anyone. It happened to anyone. anyone. Fresh was one of my biggest support systems, bro. Fresh. I wanna send shout out to DJ Fresh. That nigga held me the whole way. Called me, checking up on my case. What's happening? Where are you now? What are you doing now? That nigga. So what time are we in? What do you think is happening? Now? Yeah. There's a shift, bro. There's a shift. There's this weird fucking kill a black man, fucking destroy a black man. Black women don't need us men syndrome that's happening right now in this country, bro. Wow. Us men, us black men in South Africa, we're sitting fucking ducks to anything. Anything. Tomorrow someone can drop a tweet and say, Casper raped me. But guess what you fucking South Africans are going to do? You're going to believe him. You're going to run it all over on Twitter. How do you believe me as a rapist? Well, I live my life in reality, bro. But South Africa, the first thing, he did it. Because why? They can't live the life I'm living. The very same bitter woman who attacking me, most of them single mothers. The very same women who are attacking me are women who have been failed by men who don't want to stand up and take care of their families. Mm. So I'm here to stand up and say, do you know what? This is bullshit. Facts. How many, there's so many organizations that do things that are related to men. None of them have reached out to me. I reached out to Titi Mba. I'm a Titi. Lendo leyako yama time. I'm a Titi Chune. 
Let me come there and talk real issues that are affecting us niggas. Nigga never hollered back at me. Instead, I see him doing an Amatima thing there. It's a fashion fucking show. He's giving niggas Gucci fucking vouchers. Real. Get on his tops, man. I'll fuck with Tall Eyes Mo, man. And I just fuck with him because he's a real ass nigga and just, he being real, it take a real ass nigga to come on here and tell his story, man. And being falsely accused. This shit crazy, man. What's going on? He said that nigga ain't hit back, bitch ass nigga. He tuned it. Let me come there and talk real issues that are affecting us niggas. Nigga never hollered back at me. Instead, I see him doing an Amatima thing there. It's a fashion fucking show. He's giving niggas Gucci fucking vouchers. Real, and it's supposed to be discussing main issues. And it's not my time, I'm not a species. I've seen that. I know it, I know it. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. Oh, God. So, what do you think? You are you yellow to yellow, yellow to yellow. I show my timer, show my time. Mara, my timer, I call the airport and I find the next corner. Why don't you allow us to come there and talk the real facts? What do you think about the feminist uh, movement? Do you know what? It's a feminist movement needs to be understanding that men are fucking human beings, bro. Yes, we understand that you might not have had much opportunity because of what? Western civilization. What do us black men have to do with that, bitch? And I, I, and I also think this does an injustice because oh, we, we can't ignore the realities. We do live in a country where it's crazy. GBV, kids are getting raped. Yes, it's bad out there. I don't uh, Abu it. Abu, they're getting killed because they're pregnant, and you know what I mean. And then when these false things it's come crazy. out, it really takes everything backwards. It takes everything back. Because we live in a country with serious issues. It's nothing to joke about. No. Not even to lie about. Not at all. Then you say this it's guy raped me, and, and then you come cases. out. You say this guy raped me, then you come out. You say it's a joke. I'm yeah, disgusted no. with this child's parents. Dude. Big facts. The parenting, disgusting. Like, how you let your kid play around like that? No home training or nothing. That's just shit. That's just something you just don't do. I talked about it earlier. That's in that category. You just don't fuck with it. Don't and then you cases. come out. Sorry, you say this guy raped me. Then you come out. You say it's a joke? I'm yeah, disgusted with this child's parents. Dude. Facts. There's a family who does not have a son. Facts. That's what I call it. Mm. And then, and, and, and then what? Then you think that, that that girl that you're in should be respected by society? Who's going to date that fucking woman who lied about a situation that was so terrible? These kids could have seen what happened to me. He could have seen what happened to me. And then was like, I don't want to end up like toilet mode. You see what that rape case did to him? Take him alive. Hey, bro, man, we went through the same thing, not as as as, as tense or like as, jeez, uh, yours was crazy. But remember with the Amanda DuPont thing, oh, where yeah, she yeah, falsely yeah, accused you me. You, you're the same as... It's that fucking kind of mentality, but dangerous, dog. It's fucking dangerous, bro. It's selfish, it's dangerous, and it's fucking retarded shit. Bro, we lost so many sponsors that time. We've employed bro, eight women. Let's go to jail, dog. They must go to jail. Do you know me? I'm not gonna arrest they, until they, the no, guy is in be, jail. There should be some some repercussions. Some repercussions, bro. What if nothing ever happens to them? No, bro. no, no, no. Nothing. You, can't, you, can't you can make, go as a woman. Nah, you can go bro. and say, "So rape, rape me tomorrow." The next day, say it was a joke and get away with it. Scott yeah, free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and move oh, on. No oh, speaking just, to you. Yeah, nah, when you bro, walk into nah, a room, nah, nah. it's not like oh, this is rape. Justice. You can't go to. should be justice, bro. You can't. You can't talk to every single. Rape is a serious allegation. You can't talk to every single person in South Africa and say, "Yo, I did not rape that lady." I can't. No, you, you can't. can't. And even you if can't. you did, some will still say, well, all the paper is still there. It says you did. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so it's this with you forever. You fucked with forever. Forever. Brand, those those three son, years. Those three years. My son is scared of dating, bro. Yeah. That nigga's 18. Yeah. He's scared man, of dating fuck. because he's afraid who to these pictures are going to play him and then they can say he did something and then when they say he did, the, the media's going to be like, he learned it from his dad. Ooh. Mm. The, the apple doesn't fall too far, far from, the, from tree. the tall tree. You understand? Look at fucking... So stupid. <coughs> it's not... Nothing it is, but they bring comedy to this topic. You know what I'm saying? Where we can talk about it. But we, this is all serious. But this nigga said from a tall tree. I caught that. But no, man, that shit sad as fuck that his son don't feel like that shit. Hey, man, y'all see how serious this shit is? Young boys, young kings, do y'all see how serious this shit is? Watch who you messing with, who you messing with around, all the above. But we got 
Whole another hour to go. Let's go. And say he did something, and then when they say he did, the, the media's gonna be like, he learns it from his dad. Ooh, mm. the, the apple doesn't fall too far, far from, the, from tree. the tall tree. You understand? Look at fucking Sonia's son, single mother, raising a boy who beats up girls. So what the fuck do you think Sonia's she, parents have done? She is? went through abuse, man. And she went through abuse. But she, and what she, is she teaching her son? No, no, no. But she came up with a statement to say she's distancing. He must face the music. He must face the music, man. She said when that. Then, um, jai, we must know what, how is she repairing the issue. Facts. How is she? Watch what y'all do in front of your kids for my parents, man. As simple as that, man. That's facts. That's crazy. Watch his mom get beat up. And he start putting his hands on women. I, that's in that same category. We don't condone that. Just no, we don't do it. Don't. Do it. We must know what. The, how is she repairing the issue? Yeah. How is she repairing the issue? You know, you know where this thing got fucked up, bro. Oh, Me Too movement, I believe a movement. It's not an African thing. It's you a know, Western thing. It's a Western ideology that people uh, 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 took and are using it in. In in yeah, in but this context, in this context, in but it's not the same context, yeah. because we have different cultures. Like the Western world doesn't even have a culture. Yeah, do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it doesn't. It, it's, it's so so like that thing was started by white people, white mm. women. Mm. Now black women have adopted it Adopting, and are using it in Africa where it's a different. It's Aspani, a different. Aspani, Aspani, boy. Aspani. We believe in Ubuntu. Feminism yeah, is about I I I I yes. I. Your right to passage, there, bro. Or, Court and you know, yeah, yeah, laws. And there's a guy called Mike Bollays. Okay, this guy is like an African senior investigative journalist. This guy helped me with my private investigation because obviously the cops are not going to investigate on my side to find uh, this woman's life. They don't even competent enough, those they don't. Uh, they ones. don't. Cops in South Africa, okay. Mike Bollays, so many times. That guy has got his own show on CakeNet. You can google him, he does crime investigative, whatever, whatever. Um, and put me up on the lie detector test before he said he could investigate my case. He said to me, I'm gonna put you on this lie detector test, and if I find out that you are lying and I'm that you raped this girl, case. I'm not taking your case and I'm gonna make sure that your life is a living fucking hell because I will not tolerate and stand next to a rapist. Shout out to Mike Bullhase, man. Okay? He then said to my wife that I will help you to make sure you make this man's fall the hardest fall anyone has ever seen in this country. Okay? They put me up on the poly on that polygraphy forensic test thing. Jeez. So it's not just things plugged to your, it's your, 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 chest, your, your, your fingers, it's everything. Kidney. There's a thing that checks your kidney. Shit. How do you control your kidney from stopping to lie? You can't. Mm. And then they put on your sweat, yeah, on yeah, your yeah. fingers, and then they got a oh. headband. Ooh, and that. they cross, I'm sitting like this, facing backwards, cross-questioned. I came out of the test and it said that no, this man is innocent. He didn't do it. That's when Mike Ball Hastings stood up for me, bro, and All became right. my senior investigative journalist and not journalist, my senior investigator, and he became my family spokesperson at the time during when I was going through my trial. Wow. Mike Ball Hastings. Mike Ball Hastings, Afrikaans Christian man. Hmm. Wow. You understand? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Whoa. And he had to be sure. He had to be sure who before he taking on the case. Reputation. That guy. Wow, man. You understand? So, this is where I was then. This is, this is me now, my dog. I'm trying to come back in the game. I'm trying to do shows here and there. It's difficult, bro. It's fucking hard. How, how, must I go back and beg on all the channels? Knock oh, on man. the doors again. But, bro, this That's is... Because you are... I'm innocent. I must go everywhere with the letter stating I'm innocent. No, but wait, wait. Listen to this, bro. This is this is inhumane, man. Listen this is me. like... This is a, 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 um, a pandemic in itself, right? You know, right, as a man, your responsibility is to provide, protect your family. That's it, yeah. So you work all your life to provide for your kids, your wife, and protect them, and all of that, right? Yeah. And we know the challenges in this industry because it's white dominated. So there's still so many adversities you have to chase and, yeah. and overcome. Just because you're black. Yeah. yeah. Already because you're black. Hurdles all right. You, yeah. you overcome that, right? And you don't steal no money. You don't commit any crime. Yeah. You're making money the right way, the good way to leave a legacy. And someone out there, just because they're angry or whatever's going on, can just put a tweet that fucks up your whole life. Yeah. That's insane, bro. It's insane, bro. And the thing is, I've never had any issues with my marriage. There's That's never been any stories country, about me it? having it infidelity works, in my marriage. There's never, there's no article of me having infidelity in my marriage, bro. That's the state of our country, isn't it? How do you then believe that one tweet 
Why is DJ Pepsi? Why isn't Lotto open Lemurad and Lotto Molloy open up a case of rape against DJ Pepsi? Because it was a list, is it? Oh, yeah. We are fortunate we own this platform, but when that Amanda Dupont thing happened, we were fucked. Yeah, you're fucked. Yeah. We were fucked. What do you want me to do? You can't fight against the, the feminist movement. Huh? Why do you think we have guys like, uh, uh, um, who's that guy, that Muay Thai boxer? Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate, yeah, yeah. Why do you think men are becoming more and more like that? It's like we're fucking angry. We're enough. It's like, yo, enough is enough. Man. Bitches, stop using rape. Look at it. They, they use rape so commonly, but let's talk about what women are doing on social media now. Look at all what you, most of these bitches on Twitter are doing. On Twitter, it's half-naked women. It's, this, it's, it's pussy. It's fans only. It's this, it's this, it's this. Women, dog. Black women. And then you must go to the club, work your ass off, and go and respect that shit. Hey. You, you, hey, oh, you. Black queens, we got to do better. All queens, we got to do better. What's going on? This, it's this, it's this. Woman, dog, black woman, and then you must go to the club, work your ass off, and go and respect that shit. You, you, oh, this woman is you. You're famous because you what? You shake your ass. I, nigga, I got a big dick. I wanna, I wanna be famous for swinging that shit around too. But I can't, cause why? I'm a man. That's not appealing. You confirm? Thumbs up. Oh man, <laughs> she knows that shit, and I can sure as well hit more than fucking five strokes too, nigga. <laughs> you confirm? You, ah, you know we love him, but this is serious, man. Right. You can fire so <laughs> just love it. Oh bro. It's, People it's, love it's, my know, pain. That's the way it is. Maybe it's the way I explain things. Nah man. You understand what I'm saying? But mm. it's it, it's the blatant truth, and there's no greater humor in life than truth. <laughs> That's the funniest thing you can ever do in your, or say in your life is tell the truth. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that way you're relatable to everybody and, that, and they can understand you. You know what I'm saying? So I went through this pain and there's other niggas who are going through this pain right now, but there's nowhere to go. I'm no getting way. DMs. Niggas are telling me I've been through this. I've been, my cousin is in jail sitting 10 years over. Oh my goodness. Bro, there's a lot of niggas. Bapaya. Bapaya. Amachita DMing me. They're talking. They're coming out. Jeez. How do I help them? Nah, this shit's gonna this stop. In this kind of so. society, you might not nah, this shit is gonna when stop. When I can barely so. help myself out of this thing, what am I? I'm sitting here thinking, what if you didn't post on Instagram? What if you didn't have that? Uh, uh, that, that How ironic! Her daughter, picture. your daughter saved you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What if you you didn't fly home early? What if you were there for the burger comp challenge or whatever? What if you didn't have the money? You know, uh, savings to pay the thing is. What if you didn't take Bro. that picture, that Instagram? What would happen to you? And that's the, uh, some of the people out there. I'd be in jail, they my nigga. They didn't have the money. They didn't have the Instagram I would be and in the jail. pictures. I would be in fucking jail, dog. Right. And guess which jail I would have went to? Bolsmo, fucking prison. I would have been there with the car. to say, come with a knife. And I said, give me that ash. Are you gonna give me what? <laughs> Just imagine! You are a rapist, you're gonna lie you all day, all night! They're gonna fuck me in the ass the whole time, dog! You think you can go into jail as a rapist and you're gonna live a free life? No, no, like no, you're no, the no, one who's getting is, pussy there, no, dog! No! Get the worst. They I get mean, the worst life! Worst Bro, we need to start the opposite of feminism. Honestly. Honestly, they whatever that looks down. like. Look at Andrew Tate. But look at how feminism has ended up. You know what I mean? I mean, feminism in its purest form makes sense, right? But it's been very... How it's, it's exercised. It, it intoxicated. No, it's used so, as so a weapon of destruction. Yeah, yeah. So if we do that, then, I mean, that's... Get energy on steroids times... That does no one good. Because feminism is okay as a thing. That actually stands for the truth. How you know, is it fair? Not just as a as a weapon yeah. to attack people without hearing their case first. Hey, or think, without seeing the facts. All those ladies you mentioned, do you think they actually know what feminism and where it started and how it comes from? I don't think they have proper feminism. I don't think they have feminism. No, I think what happens, There's bro, it's like, it's like, it's like sheeps, dog. Yeah. You know? Because what happens on Twitter, and, and if, if, if we are... Uh, Cancelling soul today. No one cares. We are cancelling. Yeah, so I'm concerned. And, and yet, and Tina ma out. We must stop being fucking cowards. Defend him, Chitawa, because you are with the outlet. It's not a rape. Which defend guy, your which guy friend. defended you? No one. Publicly? Yeah. Nobody, nigga. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. The people that brought up in the game, the people that are assisted, the yeah. people that have been doing work with, no one publicly stood up for me. Yeah, bro, who stood That's up for us? Uh, when That's crazy. Your real friends when you need them, man. That's crazy. He said nobody. Nigga. The niggas I brought up, the niggas I helped, 
Niggas eat fat. That's crazy, man. Take note, Sean. Take note from this motherfucking interview. Defend right, your man. defended you. No one. Publicly? Yeah. Nobody, nigga. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. The people that are brought up in the game, the people that are assisted, the yeah. people that have been doing work, no one publicly stood up for me. Yeah, bro. Who stood That's up for us uh, when we were going through that? I remember I'm going to do bunch shit. Nah, us no one ever stands up for us. Just chillers. Yeah, yeah, just, just chillers. Just chillers, thank goodness. But no one really stands up. And how many niggas did we have on the show? And a lot. Oh, uh, tons. Do you understand me, my dog? Mm. Do you understand me? Mm. So it's, who's going to help us in South Africa? Even the females that we've had on the show mm -hmm. never were like, you know. I'm sorry. Mm. I've had a woman who actually sent me a message to apologize on behalf of women as well. There are some women out there who have also sent me messages and say, we've got sons. We've got, we've got sons. Mm. Shout out to them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you think that we, your story is inspiring to us because we, we know as mothers how to protect our children and how to raise them and, and what to expect from women out there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They must not erase the fact. I always tell my son that, yo, keep your dick in your pocket. Mm. Keep your dick in your pocket, aye, my boy. Aye, 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 he bro. knows that shit very well. I'm going to or something. I don't mind. Mm. I don't mind. He must just... Keep so, it in his pocket so, so, and respect women. So let, let, let's yeah. find a solution. Because I think, yes, right. there are issues in this country yeah. that we cannot shy away from. Yeah. We cannot absorb. Mm -hmm. And we can't put a blanket on all women and say all women are like Lerato. Correct. Right? Because well, uh, there are women who are getting raped. Yes. On a yes. daily basis. Yes. Getting beaten up. So we've yes. seen, we've, home, we've seen feminism raped. is not the way yeah. to go. No. You are very spiritually uh, acclimated right now. Correct. Ninyang, to see the fact up. Nakon will write tonight, maybe once or twice in a month, you know, maybe Namuti. Fuck! Lightning! As is what you're like, my shoes in my water. Can't I know how to get in there? And I can't know why I hold you. Who can you wire? So, according to you, how do we find a solution going forward the African way? Not this Western bullshit. The African way is this. Magube nani nintonipo eyomuzi. That's the most important thing. Let a man be a man and take his role as a man, and let a woman be a woman and take his role as a woman. And magube nintonis. Magube nani nintonis so uswano no tando. Those are the most important things to keep a family going. And people keep on fucking forgetting that the same woman who are trying to convince my wife to divorce me. Those women who she stood up for me. There's a woman who stood up for me. When you're asking who stood up for me, mommy, she yeah. wrote a tweet and said I will not be. Controlled by kangaroo court to divorce my husband over an kangaroo issue court. that I don't know and and he's not being prosecuted in the court of law Then I must leave my husband for what for tweets for likes after all for we've Instagram built. Posts. After, all we've after built. all we've built and even if let's say you, you now found innocent How is she gonna come back when she had left you based on tweets and allegations? Exactly. I'm not she gonna knows take your a character back. or think she knows your true character. You understand? Now she you knows gonna me. take her back. And I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't you, take her back. Let's be honest. Yeah. Right. And and she had every right that if I was found guilty to divorce me. And guess what? The whole country was gonna support it. Guys, the foot. Guys, the foot. Without even a doubt. But. Why are they not supporting the fact that she stood by her man? Hey man, didn't Black Coffee's mm. wife do the same thing? Oh, Muna, she had a whole Winnie Mandela situation. <laughs> oh, hey, when save the fucking white feminist <laughs> shit in court, run back. Hey, 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 hey. Uh -huh, I don't want to freedom. <laughs> I don't want to feminism. Uh, so I didn't hear that you said, why aren't they uh, mm? clapping for your wife? What, what did you say before that? No, why why is they coming back and she, supporting she her? Said, if Mome had left him yes. amid the tweets and the storm, right? Mm. She was going to be celebrated yeah. as a, yes. a, feminist, a yes. feminist champion. Yeah. yeah. But now that she's stuck by her man and he's been proven innocent by the court to the point that the judge was disgusted yeah. by the lies, no one is coming to her and saying, no one is championing and putting her up on a pedestal and celebrating the yeah. fact that she's stuck by him. Oh, no, yes. that doesn't work for the culture. She's lonely. No, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work That's for it. the culture. Because I think that deserves a celebration too. No, no, no. no. You're fucking up the movement, bro. bro. These men must die. <laughs> bro. Stop by you. No, they're gonna yeah. burn. Here you are. Innocence. Innocent. Proven by the court. Court of law. Proven the court. Because, I mean, the courts in South Africa, we've seen, they they, they, they are paramount. They, bro. Nothing is, you know what I mean? The NPA was embarrassed in court. They had nothing to say. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. A, female, a white female judge from the Western Cape. My case was the last case she actually handled because after my, my tired, oh my, 70 something years. <laughs> that case 
case is closed. I will not appeal. Then I told you, you can't appeal. You can't go back. You, if you ever go to any police station and try and open a case of rape, number one, they they gonna put you through the most highest amount of scrutiny. So what do you think should happen to these women? They must go to jail. And they want to meet thirty-five to yeah, to life. It's, it don't really make sense, man. Yeah, they need it to make an example sense. with one woman. It don't really make sense. Yeah. Yeah. He said, wait, yeah, he said, do make sense. Send their ass to jail for false, um, for false accusing. These women. They must go to jail. And no. they want to meet thirty-five to yeah, to life. It's, it don't really make sense, man. Yeah, they need it to make an example sense. with one woman. It don't really make sense. Yeah. They have to must go it, to jail. Yeah, bro. That oh. child must go to juvenile. Oh. Or the, who, 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 was the, who, who actually... Uh, uh, Bafana. Uh, yeah, who killed Bafana. Who she Bafana. killed Bafana. Mm. She must go to juvenile. So she can teach all these other girls about Bakoka. I said, want to become future non Kroys. Hurry. More. Come on, if I more. More nitty a bereka, more because the justice system in this country. Skana kama wuto bereka sabo fair, to make money. Never. Unya kusinya bo pila wabo chomo. You wanna destroy another person's life to come up? That's the cheapest and most disgusting thing to ever do in life. And then it's supported by feminists. What are you guys supporting? What are they? What is this thing? Cause I'm still alive. I'm gonna supposed to die. What I'm surprised by is the fact that, I mean, as you're saying, Uti, they're using lies to try to come up was the fact that Lerato, before even the case was concluded, already wanted you with the face of uh, 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 of rape and a show. Yeah. When the facts weren't even concluded in court. Yeah. You say, yes, indeed, you are a victim of rape. How disgusting. Because we must how, wait for the court. How even you know more disgusting. I mean? She knew the truth and, at that time. And the, the, the thing is, the thing is, she tried to secure shows. Then in court she says it may have been your aura. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just imagine. Just, no, 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 think of That's even more crazy, y'all. That's crazy as hell. Then in court she says it may have been your aura. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just imagine. No, 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 think about it. Hey, man. Let's think, like, like I'm let's say I get robbed, or I say I could rob by some oaks and I wanna do a show on being a, a, a victim of robbery. Yes. And but I know in my head it could have been the guy's aura also who robbed me. Exactly. So how do, then do I even have the guts to say I'm a, a victim of this? And she possibly was before, right? As we you told the story. But obviously this is the thing. Yeah. You were the thing that made her. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because she only opened a case against me, and she only opened a case against me after it's after it sent her a protection order. Why only against you? Whoa. So you saying? Why, why did she, she didn't open? open she went to Twitter and said I raped her. She didn't open the case. Public put pressure on her to go open the case against me. But now, nah, okay, your case, she lost. What yeah. about the other oaks then? You know what I mean? Which other oaks? Uh, the Pepsi and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. The other niggas didn't go to court and just tall ass mo. That's wow. Now that's wow, wow. I don't know. You she know never opened mean? cases against them. Pepsi is dead. I mean, Prosper is dead. He can't testify for himself in court. DJ Pepsi, you said he's living his life, eating mm. tender money, what what? Mm. Oh, why? Lerato, go and try your luck with Pepsi, go maybe we'll try to tell us something. I'm going to say. And fuck, we also fuck these niggas that support us in silence, man. Fuck them. They're also just like them, bro. Bro, I had some other guy who was with me. Oh, God. Fuck the niggas that support us in silence. If you can't speak up and stand up and rap it, man, fuck it. Simple, man. Tell them. Siko, maybe we'll try to tell us something. Yeah. This say. big facts. And fuck, we also fuck these niggas that support us in silence, big man. Facts. Fuck them. They're also just like them, bro. bro I had some other guy who was with me on the show said, you should have called me. Nah, but, nah. but you know how it is to witness. Let's say, bro, you, let's say like you see an hey, ex. that's anybody in life. If they support you in silence, man, fuck them. Simple as that. My bad. I had to say that, though. Uh, so, but you know how it is to witness. Let's say, bro, you, let's say like you see an accident and you're the first person on the scene. You know it's gonna turn your life upside down when you wanna be a witness now in court and and and. Nah, it's, so there's also that. No, no, no dog. It's not that deep, dog. They just get up being cancelled. That's it. Yeah. Oh, uh, so even about it. No, no. Because if if any nigga supported Tolles more at that time, it was like, <laughs> oh, now you rape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, then when he's found innocent, it don't be like, ah, you're a champion. Mm -mm. You supported the man and you stood just, you were just the two of you in this corner. Mm -hmm. So yeah. men's men, a man's integrity in South Africa does not exist. 100%. It does not exist. Which, uh, baby, remind me. The oh! Hmm? There's another magistrate over Rambek that I'm also suing the shit out of. Hey, man, I'm not a chalet. It's okay, I'm not. 
This woman, when I opened up the protection order against Lerato, she said that Lerato has got the right to tweet whatever she wants to tweet about me. Ah, uh -uh. and the truth does not matter. No. 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 And this is a woman, and this happened in August. I'm asking this woman, tell her, tell her to remove a tweet. Tell her to remove a tweet. If it's the truth, or if she's talking a fact, why is there no case of rape opened against me? She's destroying my life. Remove, ask her to remove the tweet. The judge said the truth does not matter. Bro, you can't just tweet nah. things about people and say the truth Bro, doesn't matter. That's what I want to do to the believers, ne? Anyone as soon as we're done with my civil case, with the NPA, with the justice system, with that magistrate, because I'm suing her in a personal capacity, and um, her husband is very wealthy as well. So Lena, Ramo, Ramo inject her within the situation, because usha usha support I'm sorry or stupid. You understand? So now what's gonna happen is that as soon as I receive everything, the challenge is, yeah, yeah, because I have to be quantified. I need to quantify how much I lost in the past three years. Yes, bro. I need to quantify economic abuse. I need to quantify the fact that I was admitted to a mental asylum. No, you know that I was, no, I, I, real, bro. Yeah, I got admitted to a mental asylum. I went crazy. I was questioning my well, life. Would you not, dog? Would you not? Here I am I as a rapist. I've not I'm raped anybody. Of all people, I would. I could lose my life. I'm scared. I'm what? I went crazy. I got admitted to a psychiatric ward for how many? How long was I there, baby? Two weeks. Jesus, bro. Hundred and fifty thousand rand later. What's hundred? This thing, so wait, what's one hundred and fifty thousand for the medical expenses for me to be there? My psychologist, my occupational therapist, my psychiatric therapist, um, the, wow. the 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 rehabilitation center, the drugs that I was on, the morphine, all this shit, bro. Bro, we would have ended up there. Remember when we got cancelled? Hey, we were gonna it do was, a podcast. It, 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 have it, some crazy guests. With a strap on. Yeah, it wasn't with a strap even. On. It wasn't. Oh, it wasn't even a day it. when we got cancelled. Me and so within a few hours, he was at my house and like, hey, chief, hey, they are calling, like, hey. <laughs> Hey, I was saying, yo, yo, all the time, like, yo, yo, hey, yo, yo. I was saying, yo, the whole week was like, yo, like, yo, and the whole week was like, yo, 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 a few hours, a few hours, a few hours, now you, yes, yes, two hours, 72, 72 hours was enough, I was off of everything, yeah, bro, everything, <laughs> Jeez, man. Even the voiceover ads that I was doing that you guys don't know, it's so tough to buy it. <laughs> Come on! They're going to have a guy who sounds like me. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about you? Oh, yeah. yeah. What, what? You name them, bro. Debonair's Debs are the, the Debonair's fucking character. It was me. Hey, ah, these corporates don't fuck around, dog. Oh, bro. You know what happened with they us, dog? You, you know so what happened much, with the Amanda right? thing, right? Yeah. So we had a we had a, a licensing deal with uh, Channel O. <laughs> yes, I remember. So they were playing our podcast on Channel O. Oh, Channel Dream O, yeah. Doing overtime, heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, uh, we're negotiating with them, right? Oh, well, landlord, that one. Well, let's go outside and smoke. We'll come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, you don't even have to tell anyone you're going on a break. Why it's not my Hey, this. This is the first time they t they took a break in the show, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it. Like, you know, let's go. Let's, let's recap. Because this is a lot. This is a lot. This episode been crazy. I see why you guys been requesting it. But let's go and let's get it. I'm just acknowledging how Nick is taking a break for the first time. You never tell anyone you're going on a break. Wait, somebody. Like, first time. First time. First time. First time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm breaking down the Channel O thing, right? Yeah. So we we're meant to have a second season. Mm -hmm. Our last episode was Jupe Jupe. Mm -hmm. So this is what happened, right? So normally before they air the... I'm going to get to that Jupe Jupe episode. All you guys been commenting, commenting that down heavy, so be expecting that next. Simple as that. Episode, we send it to them so they can... Uh, okay it. Okay it, right? Yeah. So they even did, uh, did a, a premiere... Yeah. Before the episode launched. Okay. So we sent the episode like a week before. They did a premiere on the Thursday. So that means they were happy. Yes. They even showed it to the public. Mm -hmm. uh, it was trending. Everything was nice. They aired the show. Mm -hmm. Nothing happened. Yeah. And then Amana Dupont goes on live and says, if there's anyone out there who McG has raped, please come out. Hey, bro. Wow. bro that was nuts. Hey, Till bro. this day, That's no one crazy. has come out. The same thing with me. The but like, we lost. We come lost. Come out. If you I, 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 wait, 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 guys. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, guys. Yeah. We lost the second season. Shit. Because of that, the financial implica uh, implications of that, we still feeling to this day. Shit. Because you lost your headline sponsors. You lost what? Because someone decided to go on live and mention the R word. 
bro, and said, uh, if, if, not and, even, and, and, if, not if, not even when he read you, tell us, yeah. if, 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 that is, if, if, if I am a sim, if being a billionaire, but if, like, if, if is like, make if, love to me. And you know how many people watch that video? Over a million people. So there's a million people out there who think I raped someone. Yeah, because as soon as they put the, 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 the rape thing in with you in one sentence, it sticks with you. It's like when you're accused. That's why, like, when you accuse someone of rape, it needs to be something that actually happened. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it will stick with them for the rest of their lives. Nah, this is right. bullshit, They must man. go to jail, Baba. Are you, can you, uh, there's no other option, my brothers. Go <laughs> to what? Jail. You don't yeah, think. true though. Let's be honest. One hundred percent for this false accusing man. Take it like they ass straight up. Let's go. Man, you, can't no poly, you can't just throw around rape like it's a, like it's just a thing. Like hey. bamba, and then if oh. I can't, I can't. No, man, it's yes, a it, serious yes, allegation. Yes, yes, yes. I don't niggas handy mad. I don't niggas handy mad. Has ten tetanus condom number one. Ten tetanus spams. One hundred percent koko mawen. And then afterwards, man, go to go. One hundred percent spams. One koko mawen. And then and then manje unzoti unrepi the afterwards. Hey man. What, what, what a lawyer? After fetching a lawyer, oh, oh, you want to send me to jail? Andy, what kind of hearts do women have out there? What? Get a pill, it's a joan. Not all, but it's, yeah, it happens. It's happening, so, can bro. you imagine how I feel Sick. about women? Kind of in happen? general, in general. Yeah. Speaking about my women. fans, in general, they want to come and hug me. I can't hug you because if I hug you, he might have just grabbed my ass. You're traumatized, bro. I'm traumatized. Now you're traumatized. Our, our landlord Legit. Asked, uh, yeah. said he must ask you a question. How yes. do women receive you now, generally, after you've been proven innocent? And how does social media receive you? Can I tell you something? On the ground, but you go Twitter about Boni. It's always like that, bro. On the ground, but you know how many women come up to me and ask me for pictures and hug me and kiss me and what what and you, what what? Where are you fucking nah, guys? Nah, let me tell you something. Let yeah. me tell you. Those you are meeting and hugging, some of them are those on Twitter who are it's always like that. I met this nigga the other time at the airport. Kanti, I see a tweet. Mm. He doesn't tell me I'm this guy from Twitter. Yeah. I see a tweet on some, hey, I just met Saul. And then I was like, ah, it's probably, let's like, no, I'm like, you nigga, got yeah, this Twitter from Twitter. Exactly. And he was quiet when he met me, but on Twitter, it's very rude sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh, t- all this happens, bro. T- t- so, tell him. Woman you've met, some were on Twitter. Talking shit about me. Wanting your head. Yeah. Tell, yeah. Nah, nah. Uh, tell him about the woman that was trashing you on Twitter and you killed her with kindness and she responded and she was like, Oh, Saul responded, I love him. He's so great. Oh, I forgot the story, but she has a channel on YouTube, that one, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, do you remember the story? Oh man. But she was trolling him. Just imagine. And yeah, he responded, so, 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 nice. yeah. so 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 I forgot she, 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 how. she said something mean to me on Twitter, yeah. right? Like you must die or something. Like I must die or something. Nah, like, da, like you must die. So. What do you say about Bob Gibukai? <laughs> <laughs> something yeah. like that, like something vile, like you must die or something. something. Mm. Then I go to her profile. No, oh, she's got a Twitter ch- a, a, a channel a YouTube on page. YouTube. Oh. Then I go to the YouTube, I'm like, I love your content. Keep going. Like, don't give up. Keep going. Yeah. And then she goes and deleted that tweet that she said I must die. But I've screenshotted already. <laughs> and then she tweets. She now screenshots my comment and says, oh, my God, so commented. I'm the happiest person ever. Then I said, but what do you mean? Then I posted a screenshot <laughs> of her saying I must die. That's Twitter. So the people on Twitter are on the ground. Bow, bow, they bow, smile bow, and bow. want pictures from you on the ground. Exactly. Man, nasty. Don't be hypocrite. On Twitter. On Twitter, they say, fuck him. You yeah. must die. He's a rapist. He's this yeah. and that. Uh, when they meet you, it's a different story. 100% so, bro. So, me, me, I don't have any beef with anyone. I don't want to beef with women in general. I don't. I really don't. I think women are beautiful. I was raised by nine amazing women. But that's the case wow, with, with most men. Like, we just tunnel vision, doing our own thing. Yeah. We really don't care. Oh, bro. We're pushing our bro. own thing, bro. I'm living my life with my wife and my kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've got the most amazing sex life. Yo, my sex life, guys. Yo, I'm going to check out the sex life. I'm going to check out the sex life. I feel like I'm nandy. I'm nandy. I live nice. But at the same time, I'm struggling. I'm dying inside. Don't forget that, you know, this had a major financial implication on me. Mm. I was not making money for fucking three years, guys. Bro. The person who supported me and took care of me and held me up and held my back was this woman there, oh, this moment, whom they expected to leave you, who sh- whom they expected to leave me. 
She was the one who carried me through. She was the one who, who supported me. She was the one who helped me pay my legal fees. She was the one who, who saved my life when I was trying to commit suicide. Let's go, let's get it for You real. understand? Oh, hey man, man, this thing, this thing, she, this thing's gotta She stop, married man. me for who I was. She didn't marry me for money. When I met Mom, I was broke as shit. And you mm. stuck by her. I was broke as fuck, bro. Yeah, I had to I, I, I had to talk to all the boys and bucks niggas to just to get a hand in marriage, bro. Mm. I had to go through Ricky's, okay, my room cool cat, scoop my catini, pubezi, so many niggas. Jesus Christ. So many niggas that are her brothers that protect her. And then and, and then the same people, those same brothers that protect her, you know, one of them has also been Accused of being a person who's raped someone or who's hurt someone. How? Okay, when I see how to take care of this woman, how can I let Mumu chill around with niggas that I know they're gonna rape her? What do people think of me? Amen. Hey, Amen. This thing is is crazy. Are you are you getting any help, man? Like you know, therapy? Cause bro, you hurt, man. Like I bro, think I do see, get man, therapy counsel. Do you know what? Man, bro, I, I, I wanna send a big shout out. I'm being like That's another thing that saved my life. Yeah, and it took you six months, ne? It took me six months. Too many Isaac Mukhosi. Eight, Eight months. Too many Isaac Mukhosi. That guy saved my fucking life. Ndate paadi mukantufa. Kiri kobela tsak. Those are my kobelas. I trust her twice in my life, my bro. Twice. Back oh, to man. back. Shut up, man. Shut up. Shut bro, up. You, you understand? Man. My wife, Utwasi, is a king. I'm a, I'm wow, a sangoma. Man. I'm a prophet. I am. Oh, yeah, that's, your, that's your name, that's right? That's my name, Mamba Echo. It goes the name, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mamba this Echo. comedy thing is it's within my blood. Mm. And I can't allow social media to dictate what I do with my life. I can't. I'm used to it. I live on reality, bro. I've never acted a character. I've never played a character that you can associate with me with other than the skits that I was doing, you know, that I got Emmy, nom uh, Emmy nominations for and the comedy that I was doing, playing characters of my family. Talk your talk. I then met Bang Funani. That's what I want to ask South Africa. Lin Mbakang. Mm, mm, mm. What do they want from me, bro? Mm. About fun even so television now, you? they don't portray happy family anymore. They wanna portray divorce, Ooh. they wanna portray homosexuality, they wanna pro they wanna portray dysfunctional families, they wanna portray people that all other people. The, the black culture has been destroyed. Show me a reality show right now that's teaching people about love, taking care of a family, doing hey, bro, we are told at nine nine. Where is it? Tataco. No, no, for real. We are Parker. <laughs> I don't call you a total perfect, perfect. He said, where is it? Hold on, He's tell me a show, he did Love, taking care of a family <laughs> Doing hey, bro, we are total nine nine Where is it? Tataco No, no, for real, it's We are Parker I don't call you a total Tataco Perfect, perfect wedding Awanyala Perfect wedding you, you want a perfect wedding No one wants to marry you but to advertise a perfect wedding Like, like, like l Let me ask you something Another thing Why are all these movements, ne? Okay, the I, LGBT I, I, movement, I, 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 whatever The feminist movement, ne? Mm -hmm. Why is it always they go after the bags? For example You can tell he's hurt by what Lerato did to him But not once did he mention she must lose her bags no. And her livelihood No, no, and no he's no, gonna be right to say this Yeah He just wants justice So why do these movements Bro, always go, okay Take the bag. Yeah, take the bag. Take the bag. He got a point. He lost his bag. She should definitely be losing the bag too. Let's lose her bags. No. And her livelihood. No, no, and no. He's no, gonna no. be right justice, to say this. Yeah. He just wants justice. So why do these movements Bro, always go? Okay. Take the bag. Yeah. Take the bag. Take the bag. Let why? It's, 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 always, be it's always that, right? It's always. Why? Let's treat, let's treat BT before anything. Yeah. Why? Why? Before SAPS. There's they another person. BT. There's another person who That's tweeted cool. Mommy when they cancelled me on BT. Aria, why born a kangaroo caught to Hey, stay back when kangaroo caught the kind Where is it now? Hey, this thing is wrong. Do I not have the right to call her this? Huh? huh? Me, I must call you a lady after tweeting about me like that. I must respect you. I must call you what? What must I say? Oh, yeah, you, hey. Do these believers expect kindness from me? Now I want to say to the to the believers, sorry. When I get when I get my compensation, how can you talk compensation? Yeah, can you be advertiser? Can I thank you, the other believers? I am now X amount richer. I could have been even more richer. You never know. But this is the money I have now. Thank you to every believer. 
Every tweet that comes out, Uri, I believe you, it quantifies to my trauma and therefore it adds more money to my bag. So keep on believing the liar. Because the more you believe, the more money I make. And trust you me, I don't think you want to see me balling. Believe us, I stop it. So where are we now, man? You're back in the game. What's said, trust me, I don't think y'all want to see me balling. For real. Because the more you believe, the more money I make. And trust you me, I don't think you want to see me balling. Believe us, I stop it. So where are we now, man? You're back in the game. What's going on, man? Back in the game. Shout out, bro. My bro, I'm doing stand-up comedy again. Big yeah. shout out. I did a major show of Blacks Only Comedy with David Gao and Eugene Calls at Kiribati Malawudzi. It was absolutely amazing to be on stage with them again. Guys that built my career, that established me. You know, I even sent uh, on my Instagram, I did a, a shout out to all the guys that had a hand in building me as a stand-up comedian and give them their flowers while they're still alive. So right now, it's my stand-up comedy next year one-man show. My my wife is dropping a book called The um, uh, Depth of Black Love. Um, wow. okay, okay. TK is coming out next year. It's all about in-laws and stuff like that. Yo, it's a crazy story that one day. My, 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 the, the story of what my mother and, and her sisters and, and, and whatnot put her through. You know, I think that's another thing when you talk about because women are not friendly with other women too. Oh, even bro, the fact that you're willing men. to say your mom put her through stuff. Yeah, my mother put her through fucking hell. <laughs> Whoa, my man. mother put mommy through hell. My mother put me through hell. My sisters through hell. Because of that, that ain't nothing but good parents. If your parents, this for the young people, your parents feel like if you feel like your parents put you through hell, that ain't nothing but good parenting, y'all. For real, for real. One tweet. No. No, 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 no. Just like I'm my in laws. I was my quote from Oh, the in laws. Like, I'm not treat my lady nice. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, yeah, she. My mother doesn't even treat me nice. When she's been with you since yet. My mother doesn't treat me nice. My mother is also one of those women. She hated my dad for twice. I'm 36 years. My mother hates my dad, hated my dad for 36 years. To this day, oh, my mother's all the time. And she'll make the hate. Go through you and yeah. you feel it. I was raised to hate my dad. I you was were... raised to, to know that my dad is useless and I'm gonna become useless like him. My fucking mom took me to go take wow. me to see my dad in prison at one time, bro. And Did you see what a bad man example is. Yes, Why so I must never ask you about this nigga and I must and that's where I'm gonna be if I continue the way I was at that time. What's your dad in prison for? He robbed a bank. That guy robbed a oh, bank. Shit. And the bank he was actually working at, bro. No. <laughs> My mama saw so it successfully. Yeah, I robbed it successfully. Uh, chaffing you here, okay? <laughs> my papa <laughs> met Charlie. Hey, anyway, keeping you away. Went to go ball. Did not nag my mom. My mom was all the time. And my mom would come to prison and be like, "Yeah, I'm born. Yeah, I'm born." So my dad was like, "Fuck you, oh, then, bitch. Oh, I'm out here, nigga. I'm gonna live my life." And you know, me and my dad are actually so fucking cool together. We're very, very cool. You know, I've got a great relationship in the time I oh, understand him. I love him so much. I've got multiple siblings, um, my brothers, my sisters, you know, that you know, hardly ever get any shout outs from me or whatever, but mm. they're there and they exist, you know what I'm saying? And I love them so Beautiful, much. Man. People that supported me in my career, you know, my, my, my support and my, my only support, my only fallback is my wife. Yeah. Like, you must understand that. You Do know? you see the industry differently now? I very much so do. Nah, nah. I very much so do. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I've reached a point where I'm no longer tippy toeing around channel, corporate, or anybody. Yeah. If if I'm yeah. I, 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 I don't have like if I mean, <laughs> like you understand what I'm saying. It's either you appreciate what I do or you or you don't. There's no middle ground. I'm not yeah. gonna go out there and suck dick and try to get fans. Yeah. Fuck a fan, bruh. Yeah. You know who's gonna support you, you know who's gonna love you are people that are down for what you do, bro. You Understand what I real support and people that's down for what you do. That's facts what he's saying right now, y'all. Out there and suck dick and trying to get fans. Yeah. Fuck a fan, yeah. bruh. You know who's gonna support you? You know who's gonna love you? Are people that are down for what you do, bro. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? So yeah. then today we're gonna live a life with Forget about it, bro. Mm. Forget about it. Even so even guys, I'm not cheat as celebrities, we're not really friends. Mm, mm. <laughs> you no, understand? No. In my career, my colleagues, the people that I do stand up comedy with, they're not really my friends. They're not, they're not confused that. Don't confuse that. Mm. You, you can mm. hardly be ever friends with someone who wants what you want. It's mm. difficult. Mm. <laughs> mm. Hey, that's the GOAT. Man, he said a lot, so much, but we coming to the end right here. And that's a banger, man. Hey, so watch the ones you're around. You can never be friends with somebody that want what you want. And watch who you got around, y'all.
Tell them comedy was they're not really my friends. They're not. They never confuse that. Don't confuse that. Mm. You, you can mm. hardly be ever friends with someone who wants what you want. It's mm. difficult. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Every time we're talking shit as comedians, uh, uh, oh, 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 you said that funny? I'm using it tomorrow on stage. Hey, yeah. we're competing now. I'm gonna t- live your life, bro. Be free. Yeah, There's yeah, even yeah. comedians when I retired who are asking me for my material, calling me. <laughs> oh, can I have this joke? Others, they're stealing my jokes. Most stop nonsense. They're out there talking shit. Oh, oh stop nonsense. Yeah. Oh, 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 don't what tell me shit. <laughs> Blood patch. Like, what the fuck? Ah. Hey, shit is that? You want to tell me that you want to go out there and then with the comedy go about you? Maima. That's oh. no stand up oh, fucking gee, comedy dog. Come to me, my boy. I'll school you. Stand up Emmy nominated fucking comedian, my dog. I put him on to the game and this nigga was fucking nothing, dog. Oh, you put him on. Nigga! How many niggas have I put on? Have you not watch, been watching TV? Don't you know me? Seven, pa- talk you talk, tall ass. How many niggas I didn't put on, man? They gonna steal my motherfucking joke. Stand up Emmy nominated fucking comedian, my dog. I put him on to the game and this nigga was fucking nothing, dog. Oh, you put him on. Nigga! How many niggas have I put on? Have you not watch, been watching TV? Don't you know Mzansi Magic Comedy Nights? Where I travel all over the country, giving all these people opportunity to become stand-up comedians? Stop nonsense. Careers were made because I stood up and I decided to be a comedian, bro. The Goliaths. Jason Goliath, Donovan Goliath, did the comedy because they saw me. Guys, stop and they gave me my flowers, bro. They did a whole GQ celebration when they opened up the comedy club and they said, we would not have done comedy if it wasn't for this nigga. Stop nonsense, guys. Skoomba! Skoomba, I'm going to be a kid. I'm going to be a kid. I'm going to be a kid. Uchi, you're not going to be a kid. I'm going to be a kid. I'm going to be a kid. He's calling niggas out. Stop playing with your lies, mother. I'm keep it classy, dog. These motherfuckers never give me my flowers, dog. Then was on channel was cool, but I'm telling you now, my niggas, that yo, best best bamba na so so. Go everywhere, bro. Every chance I used to get, I'll be like, put this nigga on, us kumba. Ask Eugene Koza, ask Giriboni Mulaudi, ask David Gao. And none of these niggas were, were no, there for you. No, he's a superstar, Skumba. He's a superstar. Oh yeah, I'm not going to Skumba, I mean. But at the end of the day, I saw Agna Frostani. Because he he got that head with the Nui star. You understand? And me, I never played that game, dog. I never flaunted. I was like, ask Giriboni Mulaudzi. Ask David Gao. And none of these niggas were, were no, there for you. No, he's a superstar, Skumba. He's a superstar. Oh yeah, I'm not going to Skumba, I mean. But at the end of the day, I saw Agna Frostani. Because he he put that head with the Nui star. You understand? And me, I never played that game, dog. I never flaunted for anybody. You understand? I was making more money than that nigga could ever imagine. Ooh. When he was still trying to come up. Now you got a radio show. Now you got this thing. Now you're the man. I was just born in Tina Bantu. You understand? Evil, you got dog. Evil. The niggas that I put on my shoulders and, and said, yo. Masiyan said he didn't ask him pop pops, ask fucking deep fried man, ask Mo Jack in the hook. Deep fried man, uh, bro. Why that one? We were called Young Funny back then, my nigga. Damn, bro. Young Funny, I was putting niggas on with the television. Sh- the first time in pop pops and all these niggas ever saw a camera and do TV was because I said, let's go. But I don't go out there and I floss my shit. I don't. It's about time South Africa hears this thing to know and understand good Kimang can shop in this comedy thing, dog. It's about fucking time. Yeah. When? Ho ho how how long do I have to play humble? Because I'm playing humble for what? What about to call him a sepa? I can't do that shit. I can't ever do that shit. I know the people that put me on. Eugene Kosa told me and Skumba and Kilbodim Lao this one night we did comedy. Are yo my niggas, you guys are hot. Quit your job, let's do this thing full time. I quit my job the next day. Skumba continued being harder. <laughs> Come on, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what are we doing for each other, Zamachi? We're doing fuck all, dog. We're doing nothing for each other, bro. The only thing that we want to do is, how much does it take me? We want to down press each other. We want to down press each other. We don't want to support each other. There's few niggas that come out of Timbisa. Mara. Hey, he's spazzing like Cat Williams was, man. For real, man. He's just speaking the truth, man. Let's go, let's get it. He going off at this end right now. He had to let niggas know. He got to clear up the false accusing. But now I got to let niggas know, man. Your niggas ain't giving me my flowers, and you know I paid the mother away.
As na frostan, as na frostan no shimza, o homem chega no shimza dog. Shimza. Shimza. Mona shimza berai berai zalo como a kikra da tori naza e escolo. Naza e escolo. Three trousers. A shay esbali. Como put that kid on on VOT? As boni. Young frostan as balu do team. The one man show. As boni. <laughs> How does a DJ do a one man show when that belongs to comedy? One man show belongs to comedy, motherfuckers. You're a musician, you're doing a one man show. Of course, it's a one man show. What the fuck do you think it but is? But Kumba MC some of those. So he does put on some people, especially from the hood. It's funny. You're an MC, you're an MC. You're an MC, you're an MC. It's your job to introduce people to the mic mm -hmm. but i'm talking about building someone's fucking career show me whose career he has built show me i'll wait who you're from timbisa too so i'll be timbisa oh and then timbisa and then i'm going to go to the house and i'm going to go yeah mohammed you understand there's mohammed there I don't have a problem with anybody from a guy, but what I'm trying to say is that I see na frostan. As a much as I see na frostan. There's too much competition in this industry. It doesn't make any fucking sense. From a guy, but what I'm trying to say is that I see na frostan. As a much as I see na frostan. There's too much competition in this industry. It doesn't make any fucking sense. And then we allow women to get into the middle of, of all of that shit and make us look even more worse. How? How do we stand up and say we are South African? How do we stand up and say we are black men when we can hardly even hold each other's hands and walk in pride that men are relevant, men mean something? When are we going to stand up and fight for that? I was silenced for three and a half years. I couldn't even declare my innocence because I was going to be considered to be a rape sympathist. That's crazy. But I'm the victim. Jeez, man. You understand what I'm yeah. saying, bro? And it's crazy that how the silence has been when you got to I've been wanting to talk. I've been wanting to talk. I've been... Not bad. from you, but just generally from the corners that were making noise. Yes. The it's silence about time. was resounding. It's about time. So call me three was bad. And the only way we can ever talk the truth is if, yo, if I tell you the way it is, straight talk never break. It only strengthens bonds. Now, chela nine nine. I to be song. Do you understand? And then what happened is that we became too famous for shit. Niggas are getting big heads now all of a sudden. And then, and then let's keep on now. Niggas stay getting big heads. Niggas stay getting big heads for real, for real. Famous for shit. Niggas are getting big heads now all of a sudden. And then and then let's keep on now. And then we have a a boy cast can't win. Man, you can't use your ear. You can't use your mind. So as cold as we do, we own shit. So as cold as we do, we just get on a path to us come. So as cold as we do, we just we shall remain. So as cold as we do, oh, envelope. So then you there's no spirit of uplifting. So if you crash a song, you're into a mess. It's in jealous. It's in general. You're not fine. In your crash, your crash. Come on, bro. That's not life. Kumba, come on. Change yourself. Well, dog. If if maybe I. Oh, we got him out. I haven't seen you lately enough to understand what you. You maybe you have changed the, the the way you think, the way you approach people, the way you interact with people. It's fine. I'm wrong, and I'm sorry. But if you're still the same character that I last left, and the character that I'm hearing about on the streets, when people in comedy come to me and say, "Mo, thank you for giving me the opportunity. I know you gave Kumba the chance, but why does he say I'm not funny? Why does he say I'm whack?" Why doesn't he help me build myself? This is what we need as a man out. Man, it says we must build each other, bro. You can't act like you own the game. No one owns this game. Right. Even my police have told you guys, he doesn't own piano. My piano is for everybody. There's no gatekeepers in this thing. I'm not a gatekeeper of comedy now. I'm not. You see what I'm saying, Mac? Mm. It's about fucking time South Africa knows the truth. And here's my version of my story. The way, the way it is, uncensored. I've been censored on so many reality shows. I've been censored on so many television shows. It's the first time where you're hearing me for who I am. For me, me, me. And guess what? You niggas are not censoring me. Nah, never. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? This is the discussion between my outside three. I'm not ghost lady. La. <laughs> Shit, man, we gotta let you go.
know, because you gotta leave, man. So, Machita, I'm yeah, clear, bro. Machita. Be yeah. real, my niggas. You yeah, know what nah, I'm saying? Nah, thank you, bro. That's what it is, bro. You know, that's what it is, man. You know, so I just want to send my love and light to every single man out there who's ever been falsely accused of anything. Yeah. You know, I want to send my shout out to every single woman out there who stood up for their man. Mm. I want to send a shout out there for every mother and every sister who's raised a brother and a son and said, you know what, we're proud of this man. Bro, man, you know, for me, I don't know about you, so, but for me, dog, you've gained so much respect from me because, like, what you went through, I don't wish it on my worst enemy. Bro. I don't wish it on, bro, and it can happen to anyone. anyone. And the fact that you overcame it and you're alive and here to tell your story, That's shout out to you, man. You very you're a true man. That's a true symbol of being a man, bro. Thank you very much, my brother. Man, I just want to say shout out to your woman, most importantly. You That's know, my favorite. She's the true symbol of, of, of someone who... You know, marry someone and through thick and thin pressure, she stood by you and hey, she was married, an anchor. Because without her, you would have committed suicide. Your story wouldn't have been told. And I noticed, and it's crazy because he said he was thinking about doing commit suicide, but he couldn't because of Ricky Rick situation. You know, and it's close to his wife. That is crazy. Like he was thinking about doing it. So this is all crazy. It was funny. But on a real note, this is just crazy. It's, it's crazy, like, speechless, man. So I appreciate you guys because I feel like I got to learn so much more about Africa and just everything. Just, just, this is just, man, this is crazy. But let's go and let's get in. What's also is crazy, the foster, um, accusing with the kid and, and he killed himself. And that's what actually got him to come on here. So how everything's stacking up. I know this is a little older episode, but we got like... 30 more seconds. The way you're telling it. Yeah. And I'm glad that we can sit here because it went through the legal systems. Because, you know, in South Africa, the court is everything. Yeah. And the court has found you innocent. And no one can fucking say no, but, but no, guys. The court's word is final. Yeah. You know what I mean? So shout out to everyone who stood by you, bro. Thank you you know, great man. Uh, great family. Great support structure. Imagine you married an girl. Do you think she would have stayed with you? Oh, to you, new <laughs> what the fuck? You don't break me out of my fucking tears, dog. What the fuck? Tears are gonna come, dude. What the fuck? Tears are gonna come. 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 Tears are gonna And that's it, y'all. Let's go. Let's get it, man. Tall ass mo, man. Tall ass mo is crazy, man. You know, even though I want to, I want to look at, get dig in more to him on a different topic, just on his comedy, on his shows, and everything, man. So I love it, man. I love it, man. I love podcasts and chill. I love chilling, man. I love being a chiller, man. So I appreciate you guys chilling with me, man, and reacting to this one, man. Highly requested. Thank you guys for requesting and asking me to do this because I would never have knew if all you guys would never through the assist. Let's go and let's get it. We learned a lot in this podcast, so let's go and let's get it, man, man. Be honest. Be true to yourself, man. Let's go, let's get it. It's a lot of things we're not going to do. We're not going to do drugs. We're not going to do heroin. We're not going to do crack. We're not going to falsely accuse. We're not going to use the rape word. Like, we're not doing it if it didn't happen. It, it just falls in that category. So, man, I love all you guys. But, hey, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. I'm sorry, boy. In his own energy now. Been a long day. Let's go, let's get it. But, hey, do me a favor. Favorite. If you watch this video to this point, hit that like button. If you're new and you're not part of the team, not part of the energy, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button just to click the support. If you're part of the team, keep a smile on your face. Stay prayed up. Keep your faith up. Get the comments down below. And all you guys, make sure you have a blessed day, a blessed night. I'm a pioneer, guys. Have a blessed one.